Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Marvel, Kryptonians Return from Infinity. Chapter 61. Definitely, the idea is good, but Thanos still needs to solve a technical problem first. You must know that the nebula in 2023 only has the Pym particles used for the return journey, and only one cannot bring Thanos and his fleet to the future. Fortunately, Pym particles, quantum domain channels, time-space locators, etc., these cutting-edge theories or technological products are not difficult for Thanos, because before he changed his job to become a dreamer, he had been a scientist for a while, and he was still its kind of awesome. Definitely, if he thinks this is too troublesome, he can also choose to go directly to the Earth to snatch Pym particles. But the problem is that the world's supreme mage Ancient One and God King Odin are still healthy and strong, and they didn't stay at home because of K.O., an intruder, so Thanos, who lost his mind gem, hasn't gone to the Earth for the time being. Confidence. So, in the following time, Thanos began to study the samples of Pym particles in the nebula, and tried to establish a channel in the quantum realm to travel through time and space. Finally, after sacrificing tens of thousands of white mice, all three inventions have been replicated, and Thanos is also confidently leading a group of younger brothers towards. Then he ran to the wrong set and came to this Marvel Universe where K.O. is. Thanos couldn't figure out why, either, but he had a hunch that someone was behind it. This point can be seen from the places he crossed. It is not good to wear any place, but he prefers to die. He fell into the center of the battle between the Kree and the Skrull. It is true that the dark sect established by Thanos is notorious, and has the power to stop children from crying in the universe. However, the Kree and the Skrulls are not just for nothing. As the second of the three great empires recognized in the known universe, their comprehensive strength is only stronger than that of Thanos, who started from scratch, let alone Thanos. A warship of Sanctuary II has extremely poor combat readiness, and it cannot be compared with the two empires on its own territory. And what's more interesting is that because the style of Thanos in this world is too domineering, the relationship between many forces in the universe and him is quite tense, including these two empires. Therefore, when the two were fighting, a single Thanos was suddenly found and appeared among them, and the result was self-evident. Thanos in the whiteboard state knew that he was invincible, so he planned to travel back to the original world through the quantum channel. But who would have thought that the equipment that was barely successful before, all failed for some reason, as if it had been secretly packaged by a hidden existence, completely useless. In desperation, Thanos had no choice but to stand up and resist. Finally, after sacrificing the five generals of Obsidian and countless younger brothers, he successfully escaped from the pursuit of the two empires with his most beloved Gamora. But after this battle, Thanos' power has also fallen into an unprecedented period of weakness, and the only way he can save the situation now is through the Thanos of this world. Find all six infinite gems, and return to your own world with the power of the gems. As for how the two purple sweet potato essences met, how they persuaded each other afterwards, and the process involved, I won't go into details here. All in all, after a secret conversation, the two purple sweet potato essences agreed to work together, and found the two infinity stones of the soul and the emperor of power successively without anyone knowing. In this way, coupled with the fact that Thanos in this world already possesses the mind gem, it can be said that half of the goal has been achieved. Just at this time, the plot of Thor One Inch has just ended, and our second princess came here for revenge, hoping to borrow enough troops from Thanos to conquer the Earth. Thanos in this world has already learned about everything that will happen next through his future self. After thinking about it for a while, he decided to use his tricks. Taking advantage of the problem of the Supreme Mage and Odin at the same time, he personally visited the Earth and used the space gem in one fell swoop. Take it down. And the other Thanos, let's call him Zishu number two, and now he is continuing to search for the reality gem that is hidden somewhere. It is conceivable that once two purple sweet potato essences succeed at the same time, they will get five infinite gems. At that time, even if Ancient One and Odin join forces, they may not be able to resist them, and time gem will naturally be in their pocket. Although the ideal is beautiful, the reality is very skinny. Among other things, in the local Thanos alone, there are frequent unexpected phenomena, especially the existence of K.O., which almost subverts the three views and cognition of Zishu. Fortunately, he arrived in time with the reality gem at the last moment of Thanos' self-explosion. 
Otherwise, if that monster got the two gems of strength and soul, then today's battle would not be fought again, and it might be more enjoyable to just wipe his neck and commit suicide. Heal your injury as soon as possible, I may not be able to defeat that guy with my strength alone. Thinking of this, Zishu number 2 raised his left hand, which also carried the infinity gauntlet, and there were also two infinite gems on it. Orange's soul, and red's reality. The origin of the former, Zishu number 2 does not want to mention more, because this is a sad story. As for the latter, he combined Nebula's memory and the information of the second and fifth boy Loki not long ago to infer the approximate location of his hiding place, and then it took a lot of time to finally find it. The energy in the body gushed out slowly, and the red gem that symbolized reality suddenly lit up, shining on the almost half-disabled purple titan in front of him. The wonderful power modified the law of the world, erasing all the wounds inside and outside his body like an eraser. Reality Gem is the strangest ability among the six infinite gems. It can turn illusion into reality in a short time. Things like erasing injuries like now, or creating a big explosion out of thin air just now or naturally within the scope. Even if it wasn't for his limited energy and the time to master this gem was too short, Zishu 2 could even pass through it and create a shocking explosion that could shatter the entire solar system. But only this level is enough, after all, in order to be able to deal with that powerful enemy, it deliberately created a high temperature of hundreds of millions of degrees in the center of the explosion. No matter how powerful that guy is, it is impossible to encounter that kind of situation. Click, 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 hearing the sound, the corners of the eyes of the two purple potatoes twitched at the same time, and they looked along the source of the sound. Then I saw the void not far away split apart like a mirror. A silver fist with a blue gem inlaid on the back of the hand pierced through the space, and then the big hand tore open a two-person fist with ease, channel. And the owner of this silver fist, who else but K.O.? K.O. from at the moment is a bit embarrassed, the remaining Kryptonian armor on his body has been completely wiped out, bloodstains are all over his body, except for the armor of the destroyer, only a pair of special black shorts are left on his body, which can barely hide his shame. But even so, the energy fluctuations on his body were still not weakened in the slightest, and even became more intense, making the Thanos duo on the opposite side jump into a fighting state instantly. Okay, grandson thief, it's a while to play, right? Looking at the two identical purple sweet potato essences in front of him, K.O. also had a dangerous smile on his face. Stepping out of the space passage, the blood-stained K.O. stared coldly back and forth between the two Thanos, finally fixed on the one in the golden armor, and asked with a flickering gaze. The new purple sweet potato over there, tell me where you came from, if your answer satisfies me, I might be gentler to you when we fight later. Hearing K.O.'s provocative words, Zishu number 2 seemed to turn a deaf ear to the air, but looked at the other self with a cold expression, and said lightly, recover your strength as soon as possible, I will buy you some time, after killing him, we will go to the earth again and take the last gem. Um, in a few words, the two Thanos reached an agreement in an instant, and the opportunity to realize their respective wishes was in front of them, and they could not give up easily. And judging from the current situation, they have a great chance of winning, four gems against one, plus two top sub heavenly father hosts, no matter how you look at it, it is impossible to lose. Kill me, who gave you the confidence, rejoice. K.O. looked at the radiant heads of the two purple sweet potatoes, and couldn't help but let out a sneer, and then his figure suddenly disappeared in place, and when he reappeared, he was behind purple sweet potato number. 2. The left hand that wears the destroyer arm armor is palmed like a knife, the halo of the blue gemstone lights up, and it turns into a sharp blade that cuts through the space and cuts straight to Zishu number 2's head, as fast as lightning. At the same time, the light of the two gems of reality and soul shines. The former turns into an illusion to hide the traces of the local Thanos, while the latter directly affects Zishu 2 itself. Although it is not like K.O. who can quickly grasp the power of gemstones because of the fourth level of subtlety ability, the knowledgeable Zishu number 2 has enough knowledge to use these two gemstones like his fingers especially Soul Gem, because its source has been greatly valued by Zishu number 2, so many abilities have been developed. Such as Astral Projection, creating undead, and modifying the structure of the soul to transform his thinking mode into a form similar to artificial intelligence, 
forcibly accelerating his thinking ability so that his reaction speed can barely keep up with Ko who is fully fired. Although doing so will cause him to lose a lot of emotions and desires, for Zishu number 2 who is determined to restore the balance of life and death in the universe, all this is worth it. The space splitting hand knife struck, Zishu number 2 Fuji twisted his neck mentally under the acceleration of thinking and just avoided this extremely fast blow. And the next moment, his feet, knees, and waist formed a line, he turned around and punched down, and the four combos attacked Kali's head, neck, chest, and shoulders respectively. However, K.O. seemed to have expected it a long time ago. When the blue light flashed, his whole body seemed to turn into a transparent state, making the fierce four-stroke combo directly penetrate his body as if touching the air. Then, he turned his body and stepped forward, his figure regained his sense of reality, the blue light on the armor of the destroyer skyrocketed, absorbing the energy of all the nearby fixed stars and converging into this arm, punching Thanos' chest and abdomen. The front of the fist pierced the air, with a burst of roaring sound. The eyes of Zishu number 2 were shining brightly, and the light of red's reality covers the whole body, strengthening the physical body, making the muscles and bones more tough, and Soul Gem is also continuing to strengthen the thinking, with almost micro-precision operation, the strength of the whole body gathering at the tip of his fist and pressing down violently. Boom, there was a loud noise, and both of them seemed to tremble a bit. The aftermath of the energy generated by the intersection of fists and fists crushed the surrounding ground into powder like tofu. But soon, Zishu number 2 was hit by a powerful force, and his figure flew backwards uncontrollably, smashing into a mountain like a shell. But K.O.'s side is obviously much better. Although his arm was a little limp and numb from the shock, he used clever skills to remove most of the huge force, and he only took a few steps back and stood firmly. However, K.O. was not prepared to let his opponent have a chance to breathe. A teleportation appeared above Zishu number 2 again, and a 10-meter diameter heat sight shot at him mercilessly. Boom, 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 boom. The deafening sonic boom and the shockwave are continuous, and on this huge amounts of small planet, nearly one-third of the area is covered by the aftermath of the battle between K.O. and Zishu 2. If it wasn't for both sides of the opponent deliberately using the power of gemstones for stabilization, I'm afraid they would have to jump up and down in the weightless deep space of the universe. Obviously, in the course of the battle between the two sides, it is still K.O. who has the absolute upper hand. With a body of steel and fourth-order power, he far exceeds the limit of Zishu number 2 in terms of strength and speed, leaving a miserable scar on his body from time to time. However, although Zishu number 2 on the opposite side is always being beaten, he is still wounded and not dead. As long as the red light flashes, he can be resurrected with full blood, which is even more difficult than the previous native Thanos. There is no way, Reality Gem is such a bug, the suffocation operation of changing the physics law at will, directly makes Newton, who has died repeatedly, rise again. It's not just as simple as erasing the injury, every time there is a collision, Zishu number 2 will transform and strengthen its own body according to the power of KO's attack, making the physical body that is already superior in the same level even stronger, as if it is ready to catch up at any time Super KO. It is exactly the same as the ability of the power gem. Fortunately, this ability without logic has limitations after all, and it is impossible to truly allow the user to strengthen himself infinitely, otherwise, Thanos would be invincible in the entire Marvel Universe with only this reality gem. Boom, red light flashed, Zishu number 2 jumped out of a deep pit again unharmed, looked at K.O. whose mouth was twitching, and said blankly, Give up, although you are indeed very strong, but pure strength it can't kill me with the reality gem. Why do you keep emphasizing that I can't kill you? Could it be because you are afraid? K.O. sneered and ridiculed, while using the space gem to communicate with the yellow fixed star to replenish his physical strength. Appropriate fear stems from respect for life. Hee <laughs> hee, as expected of a cultural person, it's the first time I've heard someone talk about fear in such a sober and refined way. K.O. chuckled when he heard this. Through the test just now, he felt that Zishu number 2's personal strength was far inferior to that of the previous local Thanos. The reason why he was able to entangle with him to 0.1 now was all due to the energy of reality gem. But as the saying goes, if you defend for a long time, you will lose. He doesn't believe that the opponent can be immune to constant damage without limit. 
And when it comes to patience, how many people can compare to a reincarnation who has experienced hundreds of plot worlds? Thinking of this, K.O. couldn't help squinting his eyes, and just as he was about to continue to attack, a beam of purple to black energy beam suddenly shot out from the invisible void, hitting his position fiercely. Don't forget, you have more than one me to face. With a flash of red light, the tall purple figure stepped onto the battlefield again with full energy and posture. Obviously, after the crazy act of self-explosion, before, Thanos used an understanding of the two gems has reached a more profound level. So much so that now, he can easily burst out the terrifying power that he had when he confronted KO's Galaxy Starburst before. Facing this sudden and unexpected force, even KO, who was as powerful as KO, was caught off guard. His strength against this Thanos was still based on the last fight. Facing the tyrannical force that exploded the void in front of him and could not dodge, he was directly blasted hundreds of thousands of kilometers away and smashed heavily on a floating meteorite surface. You are too slow. Seeing the native Thanos who came forward, number two quickly conveyed the information with mental power. Let's not talk nonsense. This monster's body is so strong that Common's attack is ineffective against him, we must use stronger power to completely destroy him. Thanos raised the Infinity Gauntlet, and the two gemstones, one purple and one gold, lit up again. At the same time, he looked at Zishu number two coldly, but the meaning couldn't be more obvious. The latter snorted coldly, and also raised his left hand, and the power of reality and soul also began to run crazily. The two Thanos have almost the same root in both ability and essence. Even if the gems are used separately, they can explode with a stronger power of 1 plus 1 greater than 2. In an instant, the purple light condensed to black, which is the embodiment of the power exerted to the extreme. After continuous correction of reality, as well as the barrier of the mind and the control of the soul, it is guaranteed that the speed power will not leak in the slightest. Strength, mind, soul, reality, the four gems are shining together, and through the perfect cooperation of the two purple sweet potato essences, just one blow has the terrifying power to destroy the world. Boom, the light that seemed to destroy the air arose, and instantly burst into a dazzling brilliance like a supernova, printing and dyeing the surrounding deep space universe into an ominous dark purple, filling everything. The next moment, on the small planet they were on, a purple-black beam of light rose into the sky, piercing through the atmosphere and rushing towards K.O.'s position. The powerful energy was concentrated at one point, and burst out suddenly without any waste, until the distant star field, the invincible momentum still did not weaken in the slightest. At the same time, K.O., who broke free from the crater of the meteorite, was slightly taken aback when he saw the terrifying stream of light filling his entire field of vision, but followed by a crazily smiling smile. Very good, that's it, now it's finally time to fight. Thinking this way in his heart, he suddenly shook his right hand slightly, and as the space trembled, a test tube filled with gold liquid appeared in his palm. On the other side, Tongtian's purple beam of light pierced the ground, bombarding the meteorite block where K.O. was, submerging it as if destroying it. However, after annihilating the target, this beam of light has not exhausted its momentum, and continues to bombard the stars and gravel in the distance. Second, third, fourth, fifth. The purple-black beam of light is like a straight ray, piercing through a big hole on all the stars blocking it on the straight line, and the smaller planets are directly turned into ashes and perish in the deep space. Both Thanos fell to the ground panting, their muscles and bones trembling. It was obvious that the blow had cost a lot. At the same time, the power of the four gems was developed to the limit. Even if two people bear it separately, they have almost reached the limit. The energy in the two purple sweet potatoes was exhausted, so he forcibly lifted his spirits, activated the two gemstones of reality and strength respectively, recovered a little physical strength, and then staggered to stand up. In sight, the dark universe seemed to have been gnawed out of a straight mode by Zhang Juko, and Ko's aura seemed to have disappeared. Did you win? The two Thanos frowns did not loosen, although the reality gem, under the boost of the power gem, forcibly closed the surrounding space, making the space gem lose its effect for a short time. And he also believes that no one in the living body under the single universe can withstand this extreme blow, but for some reason, he always has a bad premonition in his heart. Sure enough, on the other side of the starry sky where the energy beam disappeared, a flame of gold suddenly lit up. 
Because of the distance, that little starlight fire seemed to be extinguished with one foot, but the huge vitality in the flame made the two Thor-colored ministers. This feeling, unexpectedly stronger. Shock mixed with deep bewilderment. In my conscience, neither the local Thanos nor Zishu No. 2 has ever underestimated KO, but it is precisely because of the emphasis that they can more accurately detect the limit of the opponent's strength. It is very strong, but it is not invincible. At least the blow that condensed the power of four gems just now cannot be ineffective. However, the truth slapped the two of them hard, making them shocked and panicked. And I don't know if it's an illusion, in their perception, the breath of the gold flame and KO are completely different, giving people the feeling that there are a million moments of fixed stars that are about to explode collide with each other, filled with a chilling force of destruction. Just when the two Thanos were thinking wildly, the gold flame in the distance suddenly burst into a strong blue light. The space isolated from each other was directly erased, and with two fists that could instantly sink the continent, they easily tore apart the invisible barrier from the reality gem and hit two Thanos big faces respectively. Exclamation mark 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 quote. Accompanied by the loud noise, two flight lines from the small planet to outer space appeared in the universe. At this moment, most of Zishu 2's head and cervical spine were directly broken, and the tattered body had to cover millions of kilometers before barely stopping and not continuing to drift. The local Thanos was stronger after all, although he was also seriously injured but not so miserable, and under the dual effect of the two gems of strength and mind, he forcibly stabilized his injury. It's just that when he looked at the enemy and the current situation of his other self again, his expression suddenly became extremely gloomy. There, Zishu No. 2's body failed to be repaired in time with the reality gem due to the shock of will. Taking advantage of this opportunity, a huge figure of gold suddenly appeared beside him, and cut off its left hand wearing the infinity gauntlet. Now, it's time for us to start the final round. In the accented words, a tall figure over three meters pulled out the infinity gauntlet from Purple's severed arm, and then put it on his left hand while the original silver and white gauntlet rolled like flowing water, and finally fixed into the shape of a two-handed ape. The unbound blue gem was suspended in midair, and huge amounts of human figures stood up. The infinity gauntlet leaned over, and the inexplicable attraction made the gems fit together as if they were alive. More turbulent power erupted from his body, making the face of the native Thanos even more livid when he saw this scene. All the changes are done in an instant. After 0.53 seconds, the huge amounts of gold doll gradually adapted to the soaring energy in its body. With a pair of red eyes hidden under the gold arrogance, it looked at Zishu No. 2, which was hundreds of thousands of kilometers away. Spill from. Little purple potato on the opposite side, cherish your last time with the gem, because in the next second, they will be mine. The huge amounts of gold humanoid looked at the purple-skinned cutie hundreds of thousands of kilometers away in a teasing tone, and in his body, an incomparably violent energy was being bred, and it seemed to increase rapidly without end. There is no doubt that this gold humanoid is our protagonist, Ko Zo Al. And the reason why he became what he is now, speaking of it, can be traced back to a conversation between him and Nick Fury three days ago. Or in other words, it was a transaction. At that time, the African chieftain was accidentally injured by the Green Titan and was hospitalized, and then learned from K.O. that the Army of Appearances was about to invade the Earth. After all, even in the Captain Marvel incident decades ago, he played only a small role in it, and he, the so-called, King of Agents, actually encountered such a sci-fi plot of a large-scale invasion of aliens. Not many good ideas. In desperation, he, 263, had no choice but to ask Callie, a professional. In the face of Nick Fury's entreaties, K.O. also showed a very straightforward friendly attitude of, as long as you can afford the price, I will help you drive away those gangsters, which made Fei Chief speechless for a while. Although I felt a little aggrieved, neither Nick Fury nor the world's top executives behind him felt that there was anything wrong with K.O.'s actions. After all, the identity of the other party is also an alien. In the face of such a crisis, it is love to help the earth, and it is duty not to help. There is really nothing to criticize. Even if some politicians who don't want billion take the opportunity to ask for rent, 
what the KO siblings have done in the past two years is enough to block everyone's mouths, and it is difficult to use their favorite, moral kidnapping, on them. What's more, if KO really actively helps the Earth fight against the Chidori regardless of the cost, maybe these idle guys will suspect that he has ulterior motives. Fortunately, although the price proposed by KO was expensive, it did not exceed the bottom line of the high-level executives, so after some wrangling and bargaining, they finally decided to let Nick Fury take the line and completed the transaction. As for the core content of this transaction, it is the gold liquid that suddenly appeared in KO's hand in the previous chapter, Sentry Potion. The name Sentry, I believe most of the friends who know more about the Marvel Universe should have heard of him. Like, fighting swords, this man wearing a gold battle suit with an S symbol flashing on his waist is also one of the copycat supermans in the Marvel world. But the difference is that Sentry's terrifying power, which stands out from the crowd, does not come from his ability in race, but a serum potion that has not yet been successfully developed. According to the rumors, when Sentry Renault was just a Kaminian gentleman, he broke into a professor's laboratory in order to get drugs, and accidentally drank the secret formula invented by the professor. The original purpose of this potion was to achieve 10,000 times the effect of Captain America's serum back then. It stands to reason that in such a defenseless situation without professional supervision, common people will die very rhythmically after drinking this super serum, not to mention that this person is still an addict whose body has already been emptied gentlemen. However, a miraculous thing happened. After Renault drank the potion, instead of belching on the spot, the huge amounts of energy in the potion shifted the phases of the atoms in his body with almost zero probability. Then, with almost zero probability, the phase shift created an entrance similar to a door, in his body, connecting a strange single universe. Ever since, this scum of society who smokes, drinks, and smokes mama, just like that comically obtained the energy equivalent to the explosion of a million fixed stars, and won the title of the scariest hero on the surface. When K.O. hadn't become a reincarnation, he had complained countless times about the character design of Sentry. He was born to be the Emperor of Europe, but he got so miserable before he got the ability. I'm afraid he used his luck in the next life to the moment of drinking the medicine is over. Definitely, it's Marvel after all, and it's just commonplace to eat the setting or something, so there's nothing surprising about it. All in all, K.O. is very interested in the serum potion that makes Renault transform into Sentry, and hopes to use Kryptonian technology to crack the mystery and spy on the power of millions of fixed stars. If he is really able to succeed, Maybe he doesn't need to rely on the ability of infinite gems to break through to the holy realm, and his Kryptonian cells can evolve to the level of super silver, comparable to the saints of the fifth level of Gene Locks. It's a pity that the plan can't keep up with the changes. Originally, K.O. planned to wait until Chidori was defeated and two infinite gems were harvested before bursting into the mystery of Sentry Potion. However, two different versions of purple sweet potato essence appeared one after another, which disrupted K.O.'s rhythm and forced him to use Sentry Potion in advance as a trump card to resist the power of the four gems. In fact, the failure rate of this move is very high, almost 100%, because in Marvel's setting, this potion is only suitable for Sentry himself, and only for the first time. Comma. However, if K.O. is taken directly orally, basically there will be no reaction. But don't forget, K.O. now has the Space Gem in addition to the Sentry Potion. In the final analysis, the reason why Sentry is so strong is that the energy of the medicine inadvertently opened a space channel of another world in the body, absorbing the energy in it and using it for oneself. Although this kind of operation sounds nonsense, it is not impossible for K.O. who owns the space gem. Therefore, the moment K.O. drank the Sentry potion, K.O. began to activate the fourth order gene lock with all his strength, wandering in every cell and even the gene chain of the body capturing the energy nodes generated when the potion was digested in the body, and finally use the Space Gem's ability to trace the ultimate source of those energies. Obviously, K.O. succeeded, the door of the millions of fixed star energy was finally pried open by him with such a tricky method. At the moment, gold splendid cosmic energy is constantly flowing in K.O.'s body, and the Kryptonian cells belonging to another world absorb this energy crazily like a black hole and grow rapidly. In the blink of an eye, K.O.'s extraordinary power as a Kryptonian surpassed his current level at the beginning of the fourth level of the Gene Lock, and it was almost the same as the real-level single universe in terms of energy level. 
But K.O. knew that this was only a temporary phenomenon, because the single universe with the energy of a million fixed stars already had its owner, and this time he just used the ability of the space gem to steal a small part of it. In some cases, this state cannot be maintained for a long time. Even the Kryptonian cells in the body have only grown to a certain stage because of this, and there is still a considerable distance from the state he dreamed of. Definitely, if you want to speed up this process, it is not impossible, that is, really take that universe as your own. Thinking of this, K.O., whose stature has soared to three meters, narrowed his eyes slightly, and an emotion called greed began to grow quietly in his heart. But now, seeing the three gemstones flashing endlessly on his left hand, K.O. chuckled and opened his ferocious big mouth, and steam hot enough to melt steel escaped from it. Only the weak will make choices, but I, want all of them. The plot pulls back to the real world. Listening to K.O.'s trash talk, Thanos ignored it, but held the Infinity Gauntlet tightly without any hesitation, looking like he planned to fight K.O. to the death. In this way, under the double bonus of mind and strength, Thanos or a sword again. It's just that the increase this time is really a bit exaggerated, it seems that he directly entered the self-explosion state not long ago, and due to the previous experience and the strengthening of the living gems, the current Thanos is barely able to regenerate under this energy, maintain the physical body without directly collapsing. But the danger of doing so is still very high. From the outside, the original purple sweet potato essence has become a charcoal grilled black potato, as if it can be served on the table at any time. Whoa, are you still planning to attack? K.O., who turned into a humanoid monster due to the high energy, tilted his head and used reality gem to modify the physical law, so that his strange voice could be transmitted in the vacuum. As expected of the overlord of the famous universe, you are indeed a man. If so, then I will give you a decent. The voice of ridicule stopped abruptly, because when K.O. said these words, Thanos, who had become a full-time black potato master, turned around, forcibly blasted the void beside him, and then jumped in without looking back. The sudden turn of events made K.O., who saw this scene with his own eyes, be dazed and almost thought he was delusional. There's no way, it's just that Thanos aura just now is too deathly, making people subconsciously think that he's going to do something big in the next time. This acting is a proper Oscar statuette. Well, it seems that this kind of purple sweet potato is ripe and ready to be put into the pot. Looking at the space channel that has gradually disappeared in the distance, K.O.'s ferocious mouth can't help but curved into a sneer. However, playing space in front of me, I'm afraid your brain is not Watts. While speaking, he raised his left hand, and Blue's space gem obeyed the host's will, bursting out with bright light. Regardless of how K.O. complained in his heart, Thanos, as a runner, didn't think there was any shame in his behavior. Life is precious, and with life there are infinite possibilities. As long as you are alive, it is not impossible to recover from shame in the future. As for infinite gems, he is not the peer with big brain, love children without, has boundaries pit, eager to collect infinite gems and snap his fingers for the sake of food and clothing for the people of the universe. The reason why he did this was just to please his beloved goddess, death. If it doesn't work, he can also kneel and lick in another way. There is no need to fight an invincible enemy for such a thing. Slip away. Thanos punched through the void again, and Thanos, who was black and emitting high temperature steam, jumped into the open space channel again and disappeared without a trace. Facts have proved that Thanos's brain does not have watts. He knows very well in his heart that he has the space gem KO, and it is easier to grasp the power of space than him. However, in the absence of coordinates, it is undoubtedly a needle in a haystack to accurately find a person who is constantly changing positions. And from now until now, Thanos has constantly broken the void thousands of times by relying on the limit increase of the two gems, and the distance from the original place is unknown how many light years. If K.O. can use the space gem to find himself in this way, then Thanos thinks it's not too wrong to die. A little bit of time passed, and Thanos spanned hundreds of thousands of star fields in a blink of an eye. Finally, the power far beyond his own began to get out of control, and he also slowed down the speed of breaking the void, and fell on a strange planet to breathe for a while. But at this moment, the inherent super perception power suddenly rang the alarm, Thanos glanced behind him from the corner of his eye in panic, 
and saw a mass of gold sword light gushing out from a huge amounts of space channel, a long crack was torn open in the dark universe and the electricity rolled towards him with no cover. Naturally, Thanos will not sit still, but the forces of space and reality attack at the same time, making the space around him indestructible, no matter how reckless he struggles, it will be of no avail. At the same time, the sound of the void collapsing spread layer by layer, and the dazzling golden light, together with the heat that seemed to melt the body, swept from behind. Ah, screaming and turning around, the eyes that stared at the heat source were carbonized leaving two deep cavities in less than half a second. Then the remaining clothes on the body were ignited, the skin was burned, the flesh and blood were eaten away, and the bones were melted. When the owner of Zhongguang came here across countless galaxies, the only remaining ashes in the place had lost all resistance, only the indestructible golden gloves and the illusory figure that was crumbling due to the power of the mind gem. Seeing that Thanos' soul was about to be dissipated by the sword light and completely wiped out from this universe, the mutation happened again. A white skeleton arm suddenly appeared out of thin air from behind the phantom, lifted it up, and threw it into a mysterious black vortex behind. The next moment, gold sword light shattered the sky and the earth of this planet, the space collapsed, the ripples were vast, and all eyes were blurred and chaotic vortexes. The moment the planet was shattered, the earth, fire, water, and wind rose suddenly, and the timing of everything collapsed completely. Only the terrifying and hideous sword light cracks were frozen and lingered for a long time. After an unknown amount of time, a blue light flashed through the shattered wreckage of the planet, and K.O., shrouded in gold flames, appeared here holding the destroyer greatsword. He didn't go to get the infinity gauntlet right away, but stared at the black vortex that hadn't completely disappeared in front of him. His whole body was like a furious beast, with an extremely dignified aura. He could see everything that happened just now very clearly. The moment the bone arm appeared, an unprecedented palpitation made him feel like he was facing an enemy. That's one of the five gods from the Marvel Universe, Death Threat. You must know that although they are the same as the five creation gods, Death is different from the planet devourer of the 10,000 wheels. This one is the real multi-universe god who is the source, creator and operator of all life souls in the Marvel Universe. Bye. The existence of this kind of personality, converted into the main god space, must at least be an advanced saint, or even an emperor-level saint to match it. Definitely, judging from the aura, what appeared just now should be the duplication of the other party, and the strength is at most only the peak of level single universe. But even so, it is not the current KO who can easily win. To be honest, if it weren't for the millions of fixed star energy in his body now as a whole card, he would definitely be the same as Thanos before, turning around and running without saying a word. In the void of the deep space of the universe, the whispering sound of death rang in K.O.'s ears. These never-heard languages seemed to come from the end of the world in the Dead Sea. Every note had the magic power to make people lose their minds. He was so shocked that he bit the tip of his tongue, barely maintaining his heart and not being bewitched. After a long time, the owner of this voice may have some concerns, or may feel that K.O. is boring, and after a sigh, he disappeared along with the black vortex. In the vast universe, there is nothing but silence. After a long time, K.O., holding the destroyer's ape high, finally put away his posture silently. At the same time, the gold energy and tall body lingering around him also began to shrink slowly, and within a few breaths, they returned to their usual appearance. But as long as you observe carefully, you will find that K.O.'s usually leisurely and calm face is surprisingly gloomy at this moment. At first glance, it looks like an evil villain who was destroyed by the protagonist, without the slightest joy of winning after defeating a strong enemy. Die, muttering these two words, K.O., who was slowly recovering from the palpitations, calmed down and began to think about the reason why this big guy appeared here. Well, it's not hard to guess. After all, whether it is the comic version or the movie version of Thanos, their purpose of collecting infinite gems is to kill half of the life in the universe. And this kind of approach obviously makes the existence of this inspirational pursuit of the balance of life and death in the universe very pleasant, but because her immediate superior life tribunal cannot do it herself, she will stop K.O. from killing Thanos at a critical moment. The sudden appearance of the goddess of death also caught K.O., who knew her details well, off guard, and began to re-examine the universe he was in. Originally, according to the previous exploration and plot development, 
KO originally thought that this should be an enhanced version of the Marvel movie universe. But now, because of the appearance of the Goddess of Death, the upper limit of this Fang universe has been raised all of a sudden. Now that there is death, there is naturally no less Galactus, Annihilation, Infinity, and Eternity. And with Eternity, the wonderful ethnic group of the Celestial God group has almost become something that will inevitably appear. As for the life court above them, Phoenix Force, Transcendence, Oba under all things, and the Supreme OAA and other bugs, it makes KO feel scalp numb even thinking about it. Of the above existences, except for the gods with varying strengths, none of them can compete with him now. Even if he gathers together infinite gems, he can barely protect himself. At this moment, the sense of crisis that has gradually faded since leaving the main god space, lingered in KO's heart again, making him feel a little anxious. It seems that I can't go on like this in the future, I have to make some big news. As the saying goes, when you hang up, you hate less. While lamenting their sad fate, the former reincarnation person recalled the protagonists who got the system in the novels of their previous lives. In those stories, the protagonists seem to have nothing to do, as long as they pretend to be hot girls, the system can help them directly upgrade to GM accounts and then kick the sky and punch the wild. Become the minister of the heavens. Look at yourself again. Alas, it's really embarrassing for GA, it's better to get rid of the skirt as soon as possible. K.O., whose face smelled of lemon, let out a long breath, then took up the destroyer sword and sighed helplessly. Forget it, after collecting all the gems, let's go wander around in the universe, I hope you can it's really not enough to get the ultimate modulator by luck, and the heart of the universe can do it. Speaking of daydream-like jokes, K.O. stopped writing, and walked directly towards the Infinity Gauntlet left behind after Thanos was turned into ashes. The movie version of the Infinity Gauntlet is an artifact that the Dwarf King was forced to create for Thanos, but according to the setting of the comics, this pair of gloves seems to be a strange thing born with gems. No matter which version it is, the function of Infinity Gauntlet is similar to that of a Transformer. In addition to maximizing the power of gems, it can also reduce the backlash that users receive from abusing gems. Definitely, for KO who already has the Infinity Gauntlet number 2 of Zishu, the native Thanos can only be collected as a trophy. After all, there are only 6 gems, and both gloves are left-handed. After taking the 2 gems of strength and mind from the glove, KO thought for a while, and finally threw it into his subspace for emergency use. And then, it's time for the main event. I saw K.O. raise the Infinity Gauntlet and press the Purple Power Gem and Gold's Mind Gem to the depressions on the index finger joint and the back of the hand respectively. In an instant, the five gemstones blazed together, and the surging power spread down the Infinity Gauntlet and poured into his limbs. The feeling of being filled with energy made him close his eyes and hum. Immediately afterwards, power, space, reality, soul, and mind, the five laws that constitute the foundation of this universe, are finally led by the power of mind and soul, entangled with K.O.'s spiritual light, and gradually integrate into one. I don't know how long it has passed, K.O. slowly opened his eyes, and a gorgeous light flashed through them. Feeling the infinite mighty power in his body that is not inferior to the previous, million fixed star energy, K.O. was still in a gloomy mood because of the appearance of death, but he couldn't help but evoked a rampant smile like a villain. Before meeting Ancient One, K.O.'s strength was still in the stage of gradual recovery during the years of dormant basking on the earth. And after fighting Ancient One and using Time Gem to polish himself, he successfully crossed the hurdle of the beginning of the fourth level. With the ability of the Kryptonian, he already has the confidence to wrestle with the middle level of the fourth level, which is converted to the Marvel Universe, that is, level Godfather. And because of the subtlety of the gene lock, he almost reached the apex as soon as he stepped into this level. Except for the super heavenly father like Odin who is also cheating, the ordinary level Godfather is not his enemy at all. Today, I stole sentries, million fixed star power, through the power of the space gem, which made K.O. go one step further and realize the capabilities of the level single universe in advance. However, even with such a powerful force, in front of these five infinite gems, it is still a little green. This kind of fluctuating law at will, the feeling of holding everything in your hands, really makes people excited. K.O. can hardly imagine what kind of charming scenery he will be able to see after collecting all six gems. Just the last gem, time gem 
K.O. was suspended in the deep space of the universe and turned back into blue eyes, shining with a strange look. According to the last fight, he has roughly estimated the strength of Ancient One, the master of time gem in this world. The same sub-celestial father peak as Thanos, but with his profound magical attainments and the special skills of borrowing from Mephisto in all dimensions at any time, even if he doesn't know how to use the treasure of time gem, good Zhao, the future father of common the level can only be crushed in front of her. However, for a Kryptonian who has no magic weakness and has the light of the heart, this kind of crispy mage who does not add attribute points to strength is the easiest to deal with. In fact, if it wasn't for the fact that the other party forcibly escaped from KO's entanglement by exchanging his life for his life in the end, the so-called supreme mage might have turned into the dust of history at this moment. But even so, KO didn't mean to underestimate that none. There is no way, Ancient One's reputation is too loud, coupled with Time Gem's ability to spy on the future, people are hard to guard against, God knows if she has set some traps waiting for her to jump. There is no big mistake in being careful, and everything needs to be cautious. This is a reincarnation person who has survived hundreds of plot worlds and the experience of countless years. Definitely, the one who should be reckless should be reckless, just like K.O. now, thinking that it is impossible for Flying Dragon Riding Face to lose, he can go directly to Kamar Taj, threaten the lives of all mages and hand over the Time Gem to Ancient One. In the face of this situation, what can the old nun of level sub godfather fight against K.O. who has five gems? It is impossible to summon the main body of Emperor Weishan. Well, it seems, maybe, it seems that this possibility is not completely impossible. Thinking of the description of this Andy, in his memory, K.O.'s mentality, which was a little inflated due to the surge in power, suddenly cooled down a lot. The so-called Weishandi does not refer to a specific person or god, but a trinity, alliance composed of three ancient gods on earth. The three gods are Ao Shutu, a kind-looking woman. Agamuda, a bald head with a forehead bigger than that of Ancient One. Hogs, a savage mythical beast that resembles a tiger. This ancient god of male, female, and beast is collectively called Weishan Emperor by the world, and each of them has the strength beyond the dimension Mephista. With the combination of the three gods, even the eternal multi-universe Shendu should stay away. For so many years, the reason why the previous Supreme Mage can always borrow, the energy of magic from other dimensions, and often fails to repay the debt, is mainly because why Shandy's thighs are thick enough. On weekdays, the dark dimension Dormammu and the god of the underworld, Sithorn, are not willing to provoke Wei Shandy under normal circumstances. After all, if a real fight is really started, they will have to face three strong players of the same level, or even stronger than themselves, to carry out inhumane, multiplayer sports benevolence. Such a scene is too beautiful, to make people dare not look directly at it. Therefore, K.O. does not intend to conflict with these three great gods of the magic world until he has collected all the infinite gems or stepped into the holy realm. Although he is not sure, whether the ancient one of this universe can really summon them. So for the present plan, the safest way is to go to the earth first, get the ownership of the mysterious universe in Sentry's body, and it's not too late to snatch the time gem after he truly becomes a level single universe. By the way, at the moment, the strongest hero on the surface who has become a god on drugs, is squatting in a secret prison in the United States, obediently eating his prison food, fighting with the negative personality struggles, Kong has the power to destroy the world but dare not use it. There is one thing to say, if it wasn't for this reason, I'm afraid K.O. wouldn't be needed in this New York battle. This Marvel Superman, who really has the power of a million fixed stars, can easily wipe out all aliens except Thanos. But now, K.O., who has five gemstones, is not inferior to Sentry in his heyday in terms of energy level, not to mention how much power of fixed star he can exert with his current mental state is still unknown. Thinking of this, K.O. stopped hesitation lifted the infinity gauntlet decisively, and prepared to use the ability of the space gem to return to the earth directly, and meet the, superman, of this world for a while. However, at the moment, an unexpected accident happened to K.O. The moment the space gem was lit by his power, the three gems of power, reality, and soul inlaid on the infinity gauntlet suddenly all burst into light. An obscure and weird force surged out, shocking the unprepared K.O. This is, what the hell? K.O. looked at the change in front of him in astonishment. 
At this moment, except for the mind gem on the back of his hand, the other four gems seemed to be completely out of his control. And as the gem lost control, his power, which had skyrocketed to level single universe, also fell crazily, and he returned to the level of level godfather in a short while. A big, dangerous, word suddenly appeared in his mind reminding K.O. to prevent the next thing from happening. However, the moment he was about to put it into action, strange yet familiar orange magic matrices began to appear out of thin air, and quickly spread out centered on his body. One after another, CEFH, the incomparably complex magic arrays grow crazily like leaks until they become countless, covering the entire universe. At the same time, the four out-of-control infinite gems also seemed to have been pulled by something, and they reluctantly left the corresponding grooves of the infinity gauntlet, and then under the influence of these magic circles, each of them had a wonderful change. Red's reality building runes, blue's space arrangement for it, purple's power delivers energy, and orange's soul takes over the overall situation. The four gemstones cooperate with each other, and their abilities perfectly integrate with each other. In the blink of an eye, they turned into an extremely complicated and mysterious formation, which imprisoned K.O. in place, unable to move. All the above changes are completed in just an instant, and even K.O. with super speed cannot react in time. Shocked, puzzled, guessed, understood, all kinds of different emotions appeared on K.O.'s face one after another, which can be described as colorful and exciting. After a while, his expression gradually returned to calm. The increasingly cold gaze looked around at the countless magic circles that had surrounded him, and suddenly, K.O. let out a hint of inexplicable laughter. It turned out to be you, it turned out to be you. To be honest, this really surprised me. Before the words were finished, Blue's space gem suddenly lit up, and then, the mud-like space gate opened, and a hunched figure in a yellow robe slowly walked out of it. The yellow robe, bald head, and the gemstone pendant with green light shining on the other party's chest all showed the identity of the person. The Asgardian of the Earth, the supreme magic mage of the universe, Ancient One. However, compared to when the two first met two years ago, the Ancient One in front of him is countless times older. The fair face that was originally braided is now covered with deep and shallow old age spots, and the baggy and ugly folds. That's the price you pay for misusing the time gem. Seeing the current appearance of Ancient One, K.O., who was trying to break the seal, laughed deliberately. I haven't seen you for a long time, your excellency mage has really become more and more immortal, and has the appearance of an elder. Ancient One ignored the sarcasm, but quietly looked at the four infinite gems floating above the magic circle with her cloudy and dim eyes. My premonition is not wrong, you are indeed the kind of dangerous person who pursues power, such treasures as infinite gems must never fall into the hands of people like you. Dangerous, it's not your turn to say that. While speaking, the remaining cosmic energy in the cells began to surge, and a golden halo appeared on K.O.'s body surface. Sending a guy who is determined to destroy half of the universe's life into this world, your behavior is much more dangerous than mine. Ancient One. Listening to K.O.'s mocking question, Ancient One's expression did not change at all, apparently acquiescing to his words. That's right, Thanos from another parallel world, that is, Zishu Number 2, was designed by this supreme mage, and came to this Fang universe. As I said before, after learning about the future, Purple Potato 2 plans to learn from the Avengers in 2023 to travel through time and space, seize infinite gems from their hands, completely reshape the universe in which it lives, and create a perfect world. For this reason, he spent a lot of time and resources to successfully copy the incredible black technologies such as PIM particles and quantum channels, and started the final time travel. As a result, a serious, mistake, occurred in this crossing. The group of people driving the Shelter 2 not only failed to reach the future, but came to the past of another parallel world. But Zishu No. 2 didn't know that the culprit of this accident was the self-proclaimed protector of the Earth, Ancient One known as the Supreme Demon Mage. In fact, as long as you think about it carefully, you can understand that the so-called time and space travel cannot get around the two basic elements of time and space in the final analysis. As the controller of the Time Gem, Ancient One is observing all the nodes of the past and future through the Time Gem almost all the time to prevent the unscrupulous dimension Mephista and outsiders from causing harm to the Earth. The conflict between her and K.O. also came from this. However, precisely because of that, contact, the danger of K.O., 
whose potential is bottomless and able to ignore the influence of time gem, has been magnified countless times in the heart of Ancient One, and even more so in the heart of Dormammu, the Lord of the Dark Dimension. Superior. Therefore, in order to solve this undeterminable anomaly for the Earth, Ancient One, who has been severely injured due to the backlash of the time gem, finally chose a man of destiny to complete this matter for her. Thanos, the eternal titan who has collected all infinite gems in countless timelines, as the villain boss, is the most suitable candidate for dealing with the deck in Ancient One's mind. After all, no matter whether it is successful or not, at least one of these two scourges will die, so it is a profitable business no matter what. Definitely, it would be even better if the two died together, Ancient One might just wake up laughing at night from a dream. All in all, in order to make things develop according to her script, Ancient One even violated the taboo set by herself and used the power of Time Gem to abduct another Thanos, who was supposed to go to 2023, from the quantum realm to her own universe. Then, through a series of guidance, let it cooperate with Thanos in this world, and finally face K.O. who also loves infinite gems. Definitely, just to be on the safe side, Ancient One also specially made secondhand preparations. That is, except for the mind and time, the other four gems have been moved in extremely subtle ways. There is no need to doubt how Ancient One did it. She who can observe the timeline, it is not too difficult to get the exact location of these gems. P.S. Mind gem is not very easy to deal with. After all, it has been in the hands of Thanos for a long time, and Thanos in this universe is not a low-level coward in the movie version, so it is easy to find flaws. In addition, many abilities of the secret mage can actually echo infinite gems. Whether it is space, reality, heart, soul, these can be seen in the many means used by Doctor Strange and Ancient One. The only thing that has some problems is probably the power gem with relatively violent attributes, but with the energy of the dark dimension as the support, she can still hold it in a short time. In this way, no matter which of the two of them, maybe three of them, wins in the end, they will eventually fall into her well-designed trap. And at that moment, it was her turn to play. The screen transitions to reality. Watching K.O. soar into a three-meter-tall gold body again, Ancient One's old face trembled slightly, and then a huge and sinister magic power began to surge in her body, covering it like a black mist. In an instant, the black mist quietly dissipated, revealing Tong Yi's figure again. At the moment, her slightly hunched body was once again as straight as a pine and cypress, and the traces of time that filled her face disappeared as if time had flown back. Immediately afterwards, a strange and ominous dark red rune appeared on her forehead, making her face, which was neither sad nor happy, look a little more sinister. Obviously, this supreme mage once again drew the power of the dark dimension, briefly raising his strength to a level close to level single universe. This power is very familiar to me. I have felt it in a man before. The bald nun regained her clarity, looked at the gold energy surrounding K.O. calmly, and continued. You are really very thoughtful. You actually thought of using the space gem's ability to steal this power, but unfortunately, the space in this universe is already under my control. How long can you sustain this stolen power? It's enough to kill you. Gold's titan squinted his red eyes, raised his arms, and suppressed himself, and those circles and runes constructed by Reality Gem violently dispersed. Although there is still a great restraint, it is much better than the situation of being unable to move just now. Obviously, without the assistance of the Infinity Gauntlet, it would be difficult for Ancient One to exert the full power of the gems only by relying on the Dark Dimension and magical abilities. Otherwise, it would be equivalent to Ancient One with five gems, and it would be impossible for him to break free so easily. In other words, there are still fights now. However, as Ancient One said, without the help of the space gem, K.O. has been unable to steal the energy of the single universe in Sentry. This means that if he wants to win, he must kill the bald nun in front of him before the remaining energy completely disappears. It's really difficult to deal with darkness and gems at the same time. Thinking of this, the gold titan transformed by K.O. raised the destroyer Ape and swung it forward. At the same time, his free other hand suddenly stretched back, as if grabbing something. I still need some more stimulating power. In an instant, a ray of white's thunder flashed in his palm. At the moment, in the deep space separated by countless distances, a gold spaceship shaped like a donut is traveling at high speed, 
carrying a strange energy field, and sailing out of a vast expanse of space in an instant. Star field. That's right, this spaceship is one of the exploration ships under Thanos, and now, apart from Thanos' two adopted daughters, it is Carla and several superheroes of the Earth. In the previous Battle of New York, after Carla and others wiped out the Black Order and all the troops left by Thanos on the Earth, they passed through the space wormhole above together, intending to help KO destroy Thanos together. But who would have thought that when they entered the world outside the wormhole, what they saw was a sky full of debris, whether it was the shelter too as big as an island or the small planet belt around it, they were all blown into pieces. The appearance of the fragments shocked everyone. However, since they are all here, they don't plan to just return to Earth. After some discussion, they finally took the spaceship provided by Urwuzi Gamora, followed the traces of the battle, and began to look for K.O. Don't worry, K.O. is so powerful, he will never lose to that purple-skinned titan. Steve looked at the worried Carla, and comforted him in a gentle voice. Carla smiled and said nothing, she hoped to see K.O. as soon as possible and ensure his safety than this comfort without cliches. It's hard to talk about the captain. After all, the Krypton boy only has one of the infinite gems that the green-skinned lady said. In comparison, the purple sweet potato essence has more advantages. So, it's better for us to prepare for the worst. A somewhat yin and yang voice came from the console of the spaceship. A man wearing a gold and red iron armor is searching for something on the console, and this man is naturally our Iron Man, Mr. Tony Stark. Habitual stinky mouth, he couldn't help shouting at Steve although he didn't want to admit that Ka, who knocked him out through the destroyer, was very dissatisfied. It's just that as soon as he finished speaking, two scorching red beams flashed across his scalp, making him howl in fright, and a lazy donkey rolled down from the operating table in embarrassment. Touching the bald spot on the top of his head, Stark was slandered angrily, but when he looked up, he found that beautiful blonde girl looking at him with red eyes, and there was a hint of murderous intent in the air. Wait Carla. Steve hurriedly stood in front of Stark, and said apologetically, don't be angry, Stark's bad mouth is like this, he didn't mean anything else, I apologize to you on his behalf. Hearing these words, the red light in Carla's eyes still hasn't dissipated. Seeing this, everyone on the spaceship immediately gathered around. Seeing that the atmosphere was tense, suddenly, a burst of thunder sounded, attracting everyone's attention. Especially Steve, feeling the restlessness of Mjolnir in his hands, he was startled at first, then as if he understood something, he immediately let go of his palm. The next moment, Mjolnir turned into lightning and broke through the wall of the spaceship. In the blink of an eye, he rushed into the distant starry sky and disappeared. Boom, the knife full of darkness collided violently with the broad destroyer Ape, making a shocking noise in this sealed barrier formed by the power of reality. The energies of gold and black spread out like a tide, and within a short while, they scattered the countless magic formations around them. Ancient One's eyes were cold, and black mist rose around him. The next moment, a dark Mephista rose out of thin air, entwined with magic energy, and the robe that covered the sky and the sun extended to the end of the sky. A pair of pitch-black hands protruded slowly from the cuffs of the robe. The back of the left hand was dotted with five flickering light spots of green, purple, blue, red, and orange. The magic power is like a prison, and the overwhelming momentum rolls down, washing away the void, and the waves are endless. The figure facing him was a humanoid creature only about three meters long. Compared with the black demon body, this figure is like an ant, but the opponent is not much inferior in terms of energy and momentum. The dark Mephisto's face twisted for a while, and the outline was exactly the same as that of Ancient One's indistinguishable face. With a deep roar, the dark Mephisto raised his hands and stabbed down with the sword in his hand. The point of the sword seemed to be churned by a black current vortex, bursting out terrifying power, swallowing all energy and corrupting matter wherever it passed, to decay. In the next second, a golden light flashed in front of the eyes of the dark Mephista, and then a palm that did not match its huge body was pressed against its forehead. The huge force came, and the rhythm of Mephista's attack was interrupted immediately, his body was out of control, and he flew backwards like a comet. Rumble. The clear sound of thunder broke the rule that a vacuum cannot transmit sound, and it came from a distance at a high speed, like a ball of light composed of lightning falling into the hands of Gold Titan. In an instant, thousands of thunderbolts surged, 
thunderbolts roared and roared, and the ear-exploding sound made people fear that it was a cosmic explosion. After a loud noise, countless lightning pillars landed at the same time, like dense searchlights shining down on Beelzebub's body. The brilliant light was only for a moment, but it illuminated the pitch-black universe, and the pitch-black Beelzebub's body was also extremely pale at this moment. Lights of three different colors, red, green, and purple, suddenly rose up, scattering the violent thunder force, revealing the broken figure of Mephista. In the light of thunder, the gold titan transformed by K.O. holds a sword in one hand and a hammer in the other. The golden light and thunder are intertwined, as if gradually integrating. In a flash of lightning, the gold titan swooped down, surrounded by thunder, and swung towards the bald head in the core of Mephista. Naturally, Ancient One will not sit still. Now she has extracted a large amount of dark energy at a great price, and her soul has gradually decayed. But because of this, her strength has also skyrocketed like never before. With the help of five gems, she is confident will not lose to any strong enemy. The dark energy rolled out again, Ancient One raised his hand and sprinkled a cold black light curtain, after briefly delaying KO's forward movement, it turned into elemental magic full of dark energy. Flame, frost, storm, lightning, etc., are all cold and gloomy in color, but they are extremely pure. Pure darkness, without any negative desperation, just a color that alternates back and forth between eternity and ephemeral. The torrent of elements crushed down, distorting the surrounding universe rules, causing the space to collapse, fragmented and turned into a state of disorder, forming a terrifying and powerful attack. At the same time, the increased output of the two gems of reality and space condensed the void into a shackle, locking K.O.'s figure tightly. At the same time, the purple light of the power gem was shining brightly, pulling the small planets in all directions, aiming at K.O. sprinkle meteor shower all over the sky. Seeing this scene, the gold energy on K.O.'s body suddenly shook, as if a thunder had exploded in the void. The power of Krypton, which had reached a higher level, forcibly shattered the space suppressed on the body, and then, countless gorgeous lights splashed out with the dancing of the big sword in his hand, turning into thousands of sharp sword lights, filling the world between. The golden sword light flickers and interweaves a vast net in the dark universe, and gold's flowing light forms lines, flashing continuously in the void, turning everything in front of it into fly ash. In an instant, the small planet and elemental magic that rushed towards him disappeared in an instant, without even being able to resist. And after annihilating these obstacles, the sword light still did not stop, flashing continuously in the void, cutting out the slightest cracks in the twisting space, and flowing out a terrifying space storm. Ancient One's combat experience is so rich, the moment he saw the sword light, he used the power of reality to construct another circle of defense outside his dark Beelzebub's body, and used time gem to slow down the lethality created by these sword lights. But it's a pity that there are always some moves in the world that are destined to be impossible to defend against. After the speed of these bright sword lights slowed down, they still erupted with terrifying destructive power. The void defense constructed in reality and the pitch black Beelzebub's body were shrouded in overwhelming sword light, and were hacked to pieces in the blink of an eye. And Ancient One, who was in the center of the darkness, was also sent flying hundreds of thousands of kilometers, like a meteorite with a red long tail, flying to the other end of the starry sky. Who, who, feeling that the energy in his body was being consumed rapidly at a speed visible to the naked eye, K.O. immediately returned to his normal posture, leaning on the destroyer's sword, standing in the void and panting slightly. A few seconds later, his body suddenly paused, and then he used his mental strength ironically, and said to the figure behind him, Time Gem is indeed a good thing, especially the rambunctious ability, which matches you so well. While the green light was flashing, the unscathed Ancient One stood in the void, his eyes flickered, and then he echoed in the vacuum with the ability of the Reality Gem, this time is different from the last time. With the support of the Dark Dimension, I can almost unlimited use of the Time Gem, no matter how many times you kill me, it's all in vain. As for you, after releasing so much energy but making no achievements, how are you going to fight me next? While speaking, the magic formation that was completely destroyed by the fierce battle between the two reappeared under the power of five gems, and the energy of the dark dimension was added to it, making it even more powerful. This time, K.O., whose energy in his body is almost exhausted, 
seems to have no ability to break free, only Mjolnir held in his left hand is still emitting beating blue and white thunder, like a rebellious cub. Finally, in KO's indifferent sight, the green gem, which symbolizes the power of time in the universe, shines brightly. Under the operation of Ancient One, it seemed to turn into a palm with huge amounts of slowly stretching towards him, and the obscure incantations reverberated in the void, like a grand chant in an auditorium. The next moment, the billions of magic circles covering the universe began to retract rapidly, and exploded in the blink of an eye, turning into a shining tunnel. The gravitational force, which is almost stronger than the core of the black hole, frantically pulls all the substances that make up his body, as if swallowing him like a gluttonous mouth. Lu Li, the light monster, seems to be filled with passages of thousands of times and planes. At this moment, it opens its mysterious door to KO. However, for the former reincarnation who has long been accustomed to traveling between different planes, the space-time tunnel in front of him brought him some extremely unfriendly memories, which made him start the resistance of separation at all costs. Angry flames rose in the eyes, and the next moment, the remaining gold energy in the cells was once again squeezed out by KO. Gold's arrogance ignited again from the steel body, as if roaring, behind the resistor was a huge gravitational field that could swallow even light. In addition, the violent thunder belonging to Mjolnir, and the only remaining mind gem on KO's left hand also exploded with amazing brilliance. Especially the latter, the original power from the soul of the universe began to pour into KO's body regardless of the cost, so that the dim light of his soul that had not been fully recovered began to gradually show signs of recovery. But it was too late, the rootless gold energy was exhausted in an instant, the power of thunder was suppressed by darkness, and only the mind gem could not resist the combination of the other five infinite gems. At this moment, K.O. is like a person who is close to the edge of a black hole. No matter how he struggles, he is still constantly being dragged into the abyss of death. It is the end of the road. Where are you going to send me? Another era, or exile to other worlds? K.O. asked Ancient One in the dark energy with a cold expression, and let the giant hand formed by the power of time grab him, as if he had given up resistance. You don't belong here, Ancient One replied indifferently. The implication is that as long as you are not in this world, I will care about where you go to be flooded. Definitely, the premise of this matter has to be discussed after K.O. survives the turbulence of time and space. After saying these words, the other four gems floating behind her began to shine brightly under the urging of dark energy. Reality, power, soul, space, four completely different but interlinked world laws, successively acted on the time gem, making the big hand that moves the years more solid, holding K.O. firmly like a fixed star the indestructible physical body slowly approached in the direction of the space-time tunnel. It's not up to you to say whether I belong to this world or not, and... When K.O. was less than half a meter away from the space-time tunnel, his right hand suddenly broke free, and he raised the lightning flashing Mjolnir high up. Don't think that only you have play B. The space is broken layer by layer, and the tyrannical and violent thunder breaks through the blockade of infinite gems, soaring into the sky. If you look at it, it looks like a white tower standing in the deep space universe. Ancient One was slightly taken aback when she saw this, and didn't understand why K.O. did this. After all, in her perception, apart from the dazzling special effects, this thunderbolt is just a show for her now. Nothing special really. If it was someone else, she might still be able to use the ability of the time gem to solve the doubts in her mind, but if the matter is related to K.O., then the future she can see will only be a blur of chaos. And this is one of the reasons why Ancient One rejects K.O. so much. However, this doubt did not last long. After 0.3 seconds, a ray of light that was as bright as a shooting star solved her doubt in an instant. How can it be? The Supreme Mage, who was in the dark tide, finally let out the first roar since he appeared, and the hoarse roar was filled with boundless anger and shock. Ancient One is no stranger to that meteor light, she has witnessed its power hundreds of years ago. The real appearance of this, meteor, is a gun-shaped artifact named, Gingnur, which is powerful and pure, and has the special attribute of, it will definitely hit the target when it is thrown, can theoretically penetrate anything it hits. And its owner is the king of Asgard who came to the earth thousands of years ago to spread faith, and then disappeared due to various reasons, the father of God, Odin. To be honest, the appearance of Gingnur really stunned Ancient One. 
because she really couldn't understand why the god who had nothing to do with Ko and had even had some conflicts. Wang Odin actually chose to act at this juncture to prevent her from expelling this outsider. But the reality does not allow her to think more. Meteor gun with a hundred shots and a hundred hits, has a more extreme speed than Mjolnir, and it will cross countless galaxies in the blink of an eye. Here we go. The most interesting thing is that its target is neither the Roaring Ancient One, nor Ko who is trapped in a whole body, but, that green gem that exudes the power of time. Clang. The impact sound that penetrated into the soul spread throughout the nine heavens and ten places, and all those who secretly paid attention to the existence of infinite gems turned their attention to this place. Infinite gems are the treasures of the universe, and no one can destroy them except for the same origin as them, or the power above them. The same goes for Gingnur. However, although it cannot be damaged, temporarily interrupting its energy output can still be easily done. At the same time, the illusory palm that bound Ko shattered like a bubble, and the time gem seemed to have lost its connection with the Ancient One, becoming dim. Fall from the sky. Taking advantage of this opportunity, Ko raised the Infinity Gauntlet in his left hand, and used the ability of the Mind Gem on it to draw energy crazily from the Void Universe. Then he took a step forward, against the slightly weakened gravitational force behind him, he rushed towards the falling time gem in front, trying to control it. Don't even think about it. Amidst the roar, the Beelzebub's body formed by the condensed dark energy expanded wildly, and the immeasurably tall black robed titan stood in the void, holding the sword and slashing at the ants below. The black flame swept across the border, and even the space was instantly burned and torn into two halves. Pound. At this moment, a huge amounts of gold sharp spear stood horizontally in the void, blocking the black flame demon sword slash. Odin, how dare you? The ancient one in Beelzebub's body roared and questioned, and the four gems floating on Mephisto's left hand flickered together, bursting out with more powerful power. However, even so, the confrontation between the magic sword and the sharp gun still failed to gain an absolute advantage. Because at this time, a gold god who was dressed in gold armor and was not inferior to Mephisto suddenly appeared, reaching out and grabbing the barrel of the sharp gun. The one eyed flashing under the visor, the gold thunder entwined around, and the two crows burning red flames on the shoulders. Such an image, who else could it be? Why don't I dare, without the help of Infinity Gauntlet, you can't exert all the power of gems at all. As for the dark dimension, hee <laughs> hee. You can ask Dormammu himself, if you dare to come out. In front of me now. Gold's god said calmly, with a domineering and confident tone in his tone. At the moment when Odin officially appeared on the stage, many existences in this Fang universe couldn't help but feel a little uproar. Like Ancient One, they didn't understand why this old super heavenly father who rarely took action in recent years would appear at this time to prevent Ancient One from expelling that strange boy. In fact, the intersection between the two of them began when Ko robbed Mjolnir last time. Just like Odin was able to send his spiritual power to the earth through Mjolnir before in an attempt to frighten himself, Ko can also use the light of his mind to go back to Asgard in reverse and talk about his life with his majesty the god king. Since then, the two have become an alternative, netizen relationship. For more than a year, Ko has frequently sent, chat requests, to his majesty the god king. At first, Odin was very annoyed by this unknown alien who robbed his son's toys, and wished he could come to Midgard directly. Scattered him. But over time, Ko's extensive knowledge and knowledge when he traveled to the heavens gradually attracted his attention. Especially about the cultivation system of, establishing the Kingdom of God, which is similar to the Marvel Universe and the Dimension Mephista, which attracted Odin's attention. As we all know, although Odin is one of the few super heavenly fathers who can compete with the dimension Mephista, and even defeat them, but in terms of essence, he is still only a mortal thing. At least in terms of lifespan, there is still a limit, and you can only live for about a hundred hails. Although this kind of lifespan, which is longer than the history of evolution from monkey to human, is already considered immortal for common humans, it is undoubtedly an extremely long lifespan for Odin, who is almost a level single universe powerhouse, Big Haze. But now, the cultivation system provided by Ko can just solve this problem. Once successful, Asgard will become his, divine kingdom. As long as Asgard is not popular for a day, he will be able to live forever, and there will be no hidden danger of the collapse of the divine body due to too much divine power in his body. 
In fact, this ability is very similar to his eldest daughter Hela, but it is an ability that cannot be copied. Moreover, compared with KO's system, Hela's ability is too rough, and it is impossible to increase its own strength by increasing the origin of the kingdom of God. Definitely, it will take quite a while to perfect Asgard into a true kingdom of God, and Odin may not be able to catch up with the current state. However, as the saying goes, helping people to the end and sending Buddha to the west, since Kao has already proposed a plan, naturally he will not let Li Li leave disappointed. There are many things in the heavens and myriad worlds that can increase lifespan, but those that can affect a strong level god father like Odin are relatively rare. Coincidentally, when Ko left the space of the main god, he just prepared a few things similar items. For example, a flat peach that blooms once every 9,000 years and bears fruit once every 9,000 years, the peach pit. Don't underestimate this peach pit, although most of the essence is in the peach flesh, but the peach pit originally also has a huge and incomparable vitality. And according to Odin, after absorbing the peach pit, he can live for at least another 5,000 years. During this time, it is enough for him to manage Asgard into a kingdom of God that belongs to him alone, achieve eternal life, and officially reach the realm of level single universe. That's it, because of Ko's great help, Odin has almost solved his serious problem, so in order to express his gratitude, Odin also specially invited Ko to enter his treasure house, and randomly selected seven or eight treasures to take away. Naturally, Ko would not be polite to him, except for the treasures like the eternal fire, Odin's treasure curry, as long as he took a fancy to it, it was almost wiped out, making Odin, who was accompanying him all the time, twitch the corners of his eyes. Most importantly, the two also established a friendship similar to an alliance, promising that the other party will make a shot unconditionally if they have the ability. This is one of the reasons why Odin is here today. Definitely, whether there are any unknown PY transactions among them, only the two of them know. You know what I'm talking about. The dark energy on Ancient One's body became more and more intense, almost indistinguishable from the real master of the dark dimension. This odd number shouldn't exist in this world, he will screw up everything in the future. That's your future. Under the visor, Odin's single eye flickered slightly, telling the secret he had kept in his heart for a long time with extremely complicated emotions. Earth, Asgard, these are things that you and I each want to protect, but the difference is that in the original future, although your earth was full of disasters, it will still be relatively complete in the end, saved. But Asgard, the shadow of Ragnarok has always shrouded this land. If it is true as you said, everything should be restored to the original state, then what about my Asgard? Ragnarok is a curse passed down from ancient times in Asgard. It existed long before Odin was born, and was regarded as an unstoppable destiny by his father, God King Bauer. This is fate, you should know that going against fate will only bring more disaster and pain. Ancient One was slightly silent, and then said to Odin in an almost cold tone. I thought so too, until, the appearance of this kid gave me a glimmer of hope. As he said that, Odin's right hand holding the gun exerted a little force, and shook the black flame magic sword away. At the same time, the two crows on his shoulders breathed out flames, spirally wound the eternal gun, and stabbed the dark Beelzebub's body with enough power to penetrate the planet. Ancient One used the power gem and reality gem strengthening itself to block the blow steadily, but seeing Ko getting closer and closer to the time gem, his heart became more and more anxious, but the power of space was extremely disordered near the time-space channel, and he could not play too big a role. You are gambling. The future of this guy is unpredictable, how can you be sure that he stays here to prevent the coming of dusk? Hee <laughs> hee, I am indeed gambling. Anyway, if the original trajectory is followed, the destruction of Asgard will be unstoppable. If that is the case, why not try an experiment, what if the hell happens? Odin smiled unsurely, and the golden armored giant he incarnated raised the eternal spear and swept across, endless rays of light burst out like a crescent moon. You old fool. Ancient One was a little distraught, obviously facing such an old hooligan who had lived for tens of thousands of years, the supreme mage, who had only lived for more than 500 years, would be willing to bow down in terms of shamelessness. And just when she was about to burn her life and get rid of Odin, a familiar green light suddenly lit up from the passage of time and space. Looking sideways, I saw that Ko was already standing in front of Time Gem with difficulty, holding it in his hand. 
You guys won. Ancient One shook his head and sighed, and then under Odin's surprised gaze, he forced himself against the backlash after Beelzebub's body was pierced by the eternal gun, and directly used astral projection the kings to rush towards the time gem that was just about to be shot in the form of a soul body. Press KO Chi on the infinity gauntlet. After a loud noise, KO was caught off guard and flew upside down into the time-space channel. The next moment the gravitational field collapsed, the door to the infinite time-space channel was closed and disappeared into the deep space of the universe. Odin lost his giant god form, looked at the soul body of Ancient One that was about to dissipate with a livid face, and said coldly after a long while, is it worth it, just for an uncertain future? The bald woman in the soul body state smiled, but did not answer, but threw her last soul power to the far end of the incomparably distant starry sky. There, a blue planet is slowly rotating in the fixed star system named, Sun. Chapter 71, Southwestern Australia, Nalabo Plain. This is the longest and straightest road in Australia, with a total length of 90 miles, stretching to cover the southernmost tip of the entire country. It has been abandoned for many years, and almost no one remembers the existence of this road except those crazy tourists. The convoys of trucks that occasionally pass through here have already changed their driving routes. After all, no one wants to drive along a straight and long road. Just the boring and boring driving will make people drowsy. However, for another group of people in the world, this road is simply perfect. Just need to avoid the kangaroos and Australian ostriches that suddenly appear, they can run at full speed as much as they want. The straight and long runway, in the eyes of these guys named speedsters, is like heaven. For example at this moment, on the road, a red lightning came galloping from one end of it. The surrounding scenery became blurred against this red lightning, as if turning into a fleeting light film segment. And at this more exciting speed than a roller coaster, it seemed that even the sound of the wind rubbing against my ears gradually weakened until it became silent. When he regained his composure, this red lightning, the speedster known as, the Flash, in this world, was already running at high speed in a tube full of brilliance, and his whole body was lingering with gold lightning, it's like walking in another world. This is a higher dimension where even time can be absolutely static. In this place, Barry can't feel the existence of any material, and nothing can hinder him. The sound of wind, air, resistance, everything disappeared. Only speed, keep adding fast speed. Speed force. Barry, who was running, whispered to himself. He has been to this mysterious place countless times, and every time he runs here, his thinking will become sharper and faster than usual, and many difficult problems that he can't understand in ordinary times will be solved easily. But today is different, this time he just wants to run for a while, let his mind go, and don't think about any problems. But, it can't be done. Barry Oren, you may really be the fastest man in the world, but no matter how fast you run, you won't be able to save everyone, not even the people you care about. A voice that disturbed him endlessly echoed in his ears like the whisper of a demon. And the owner of this voice is the nemesis who has entangled the flash all his life, reverse lightning. Space-time is a very interesting thing, sometimes it is like an unconventional ring, the beginning and end are often connected to each other. Albert Swan, a future human born in the 25th century, who crazily worships the Flash, studies the source of his ability day and night, and finally understands the mystery of the speed force. After a lot of dangerous experiments, Swan successfully reproduced the accident that led to the birth of the Flash, and became a new speedster. However, with super speed, he finally turned into, reverse lightning, and fought with the Flash. Become the enemy of fate. In the end, seed, in order to destroy this enemy, he even broke the boundary of time and traveled to the past, trying to kill the Flash who has not yet grown up. However, when he travels back, the main character, the Flash, also travels back, and fights with him, here uses the plot of the drama version. Ironically, after this battle, Swan not only lost the chance to kill the child version of his old enemy, but also lost his speed force by the way. This is because Swan killed Barry's mother in that battle, forming a kind of butterfly effect, which caused the future Barry Oren not to become a speedster. As we all know, Barry Oren is the source and creator of all speed forces. Once he does not become the Flash, the speed force will be exhausted, and the so-called speed people will naturally not be born. Swan, who figured this out, was immediately blinded. 
To be reasonable, traveling back to the past may sound wonderful, but that is the idea of the bottom losers, the real winners in life, absolutely no one wants to travel back to ancient times. After all, in modern society, I eat well, drink well, have fun, and live happily ever after. Should I go to ancient times to work hard and be exploited by the emperor and dignitaries? Ever since, Swan, who originally wanted to kill the Flash back in the past, had no choice but to cultivate the Flash. Only in this way, the speed force in his body will be revived and bring him back to his own era. This is the beginning of everything, time and space intertwined into a circle, Swan killed Barry's mother, and even contributed to the birth of the Flash, and the Flash made him a speeder, named, Reverse Lightning, of Super Criminals. After learning all the truth later, Barry was depressed for a long time, and Batman, who was in the same boat as him, also advised and comforted Barry. Barry, things that cannot be changed, we have to learn to accept, when my parents fell in a dark alley, I had already accepted my own fate. No one said it as convincingly as it came from Batman's mouth, but, dot for Barry, it was different. You have the ability to save her, but you don't. No, I tried. Mom, it was impossible for Barry to forget that the woman who liked to call him, my beautiful boy, and lovingly read bedtime stories every night died in front of him like this. You watched her die, for the justice and belief of the so-called, hero, you watched your mother die in front of you. The fastest person in the world can't catch up with your footsteps even in time, but, you didn't save her. Barry, the opportunity is right in front of you, catch up with the time, and leave it far behind, you can redeem that regret. The voice sounded again, like the bewitching of the devil, luring him into the abyss and sinking gradually. Catching up with time, recovering regrets. With a bang, a dazed Barry ran out of the speed force world. He looked up at the world he lived in, the endless highway, the barren weeds, the kangaroos crossing the road in groups in the distance, and the warm sunset that was about to sink into the horizon. What a beautiful world, but without her. After a long time, Barry's eyes gradually recovered, and there was a little more firmness in them. The next moment, Red's afterimage stirred the airflow and turned into an incomparable streamer. There was another bang, and a roar erupted in the air, and Barry had easily broken through the sound barrier with his flesh and blood. Gold lightning lingered around his body, and after a while, he re-entered the speed force world belonging to another dimension. No, not fast enough, I can go faster. I have to go faster. The speed keeps increasing. At this moment, Barry seems to be really racing against time. As long as he catches up with the beam of light in front of him and exceeds the speed of light, he can open the gate of time and space, and make up for the gap that exists deep in his heart and can never be filled, full of holes. Thinking of this, Barry's eyes were full of determination, and the gold lightning became more intense, almost completely enveloping his body. I don't know how long it has passed, it seems that only a moment has passed, and it seems that countless long hours have passed. Suddenly, there was a loud noise from invisible speed force space. The next moment, the brilliant light around reversed, like a reverse tide, and everything was moving backwards quickly, as if the clock of time was being fiddled backwards by unknown existences, the world began to go backwards, and time and space reversed. In the space-time tunnel composed of endless light and shadow, Barry gallops at a high speed, and the gold lightning generated by the speed force surrounds his body constantly, crackling, and the torrent of history flashes away. Many things that have happened, those beautiful and painful the happy, the sad, all turned into streamers, he didn't even look at it, he just wanted to go to the place where Zhang Er started. Mother, the wall of time was forcibly opened a gap by gold's lightning, allowing the flash to see the dawn of changing the past. However, Barry didn't know that the moment he returned to the past, a figure wrapped in green light also followed him into this time and space. Consciousness sinks in darkness. In a trance, K.O. suddenly remembered something that happened a long time ago. That was the first day after he entered the main god space, and the dungeon he entered was the traditional opening of the infinite flow, the world of biohazard. At that time, like most common people, he was full of unspeakable fear, especially when he saw the zombies that only appeared in movies, he was as frightened as a quail, trembling all over, feeling helpless. It can be said that if the senior person in charge of leading the team at that time was not a rare kind person in the main god space, K.O.'s life might have ended as early as this first reincarnation. However, 
he who survived the biochemical world did not know that this seemingly endless reincarnation nightmare had only just begun since then. The world of the heavens explored by the Lord God's dimension is full of various dangers, and reincarnated people die almost every second, and there are even four level powerhouses among them. But no matter whether it is a peerless power that can pick up the stars and take the moon, or a small ant with no power to restrain a chicken, under the shadow of death without distinction, everything is equal. In this way, the conspiracy of intrigues, the stimulation of death and death, constantly squeezed one's own potential in the midst of life and death despair, just to survive the test of cannibalism, tenaciously. On the road of no progress but death, all the reincarnation can do is lose, and then, lose again. All the emotions I embraced at the beginning were worn down on the blood-stained road into pure survival. Be it betraying others or cutting off love, you have to live. If you don't die, everything you've done so far will be nothing. Now that you have fallen, you will fall even deeper. Until, there is no abyss under the abyss. This is the reincarnation of the Lord God. Suddenly enlarged emotions filled Ko's mind, making the huge but dim soul shine brightly. Suddenly, an incomparably familiar but long-lost power surged up from his body, like a dragon breaking free from its shackles, sending out a resounding dragon chant. It was at this moment that Ko finally opened his eyes. Well, the sequelae of time travel affected Ko's judgment. While recalling what happened before he fell into a coma, he looked at the surrounding scenes suspiciously. This is a strange stone room like a cave. Although it looks very primitive, the magic energy exuded in the air made Ko realize that this place is extraordinary. This stone room is about 10 square meters, the surrounding walls are mainly in gray tone, and there is no decoration in the room except for a stone bed covered with straw mats. However, Ko discovered through the supervision capable of microscopic cells that the molecular structure of these stones is extremely complex, not only extremely hard, but also engraved with countless mysterious runes and spells, as if they were specially made to trap the strong. Not only that, but Ko's hands and feet are also covered with extremely strong metal shackles, and I don't know what kind of material they are made of. With his power enough to push the planet, he can't break it casually. Everything is full of weird atmosphere, which makes Ko, who dreams of the past experience, almost think that he has returned to the space of the main god. I remember, I was fighting an ancient one before, she wanted to teleport me to other worlds, and then Odin shot to stop him. Later I seemed to get the time gem, but ancient one still pushed me into space time tunnel. So, what kind of place am I in now? Recalling the events before the coma in his mind, Ko couldn't help feeling a little anxious. At this moment, some small voices suddenly came from outside this strange prison cell. Under the barrier of this strange stone chamber, Ko's various super senses were greatly hindered, but because the distance was not too far, he still managed to hear a few words. Hey, have you heard that there is a man locked up here? The speaking voice sounded very crisp, it should be a young girl. The most important thing is that the language spoken by this girl is English. Although the accent is a bit strange, Ko can't tell the style of which place it is, but what is certain is that this place should still be on the earth. You don't need to say, I was there when he was sent last night. This voice is similar, with a little more wildness, and, this feeling that I have never seen a man before, what the hell is it? Ko frowned and continued to listen to the girl's conversation. I saw it too, but you were really sure that he is a man. It feels different from what is said in the book. He is very clean and good looking. He has an Adam's apple, and the contours of his facial features are also very rigid. The most important thing is the thing underneath. It must be a man, it can't be wrong. I never thought that a man could be so good looking. But how did he come here? The Queen's trial is not over yet, and the barrier on Paradise Island cannot be destroyed. You ask me, who do I ask? Sigh, what a pity, it's the first time I've seen a man since I was born, but I can only watch but not eat. I'm so hungry. I don't know if the sound insulation effect of the wall is too strong, Ko seems to hear the sound of drooling. And there's more than one. Hey, don't worry, the queen has always been generous, maybe after she tastes something new, she will make our sisters feel good too. Kidney is good, kidney is good. Then I'll come first. No rush, those who meet have a share, we can go up together. Hey hey, Ko, what kind of ghostly place did I come to? Ko complained wildly in his heart, 
but because of the habit of reincarnation, he still decided to hold back and see what the specific situation is like. Anyway, the power of the Kryptonian and the gene lock was not lost due to time and space travel. With this power, he is like sitting on a Daoyutai. Who else can threaten his safety? However, the people outside didn't seem to want to keep him waiting for a long time. About half a day later, the door of the stone room was opened from the outside. Looking at the flashing gold pattern on the door, one knew that it was a door. There should be some special way to open it. Ha, huh, you're awake. The sun shone into the room, and Ko soon saw a blonde woman with a good face, long legs and thin waist, and a supermodel figure walked in. At this moment, she was holding a wooden tray with food in her hand, and saw the surprised look on Ko's face when he woke up. But soon, this surprise turned into a meaningful look, like an ISP who has been starving for many years, seeing a beautiful woman stripped off, full of silver and evil meanings, making Ko feel uncomfortable. Thinking of the nasty words he heard from the women outside the door, he suddenly felt that his precious chastity was in an unprecedented crisis. Sure enough, boys should protect themselves when they go out. It's good to wake up, Her Majesty's trial will end soon, if I can see you, I should be very happy. The blonde woman licked her lips and said, a trace of regret flashed in her eyes. Man, I don't know how you penetrated that layer of enchantment, and what is the purpose of coming here? But you must understand that the moment you land on Paradise Island, everything about you will be destroyed. Only Her Majesty the Queen. Paradise Island, K.O.'s pupils dilated slightly, as if he was shocked by these three words. Oh, you actually know. Seeing the expression on the man's face repeating the words, Paradise Island, the woman's originally charming face suddenly turned cold. Different from those, little girl movies, outside, as an Amazon woman warrior who is almost contemporary with the previous queen, she has tasted the taste of many men in thousands of years. May 7, is easily confused by K.O.'s, beauty. Definitely, after all, it is a long time, she should be greedy or she should be greedy, but if this man is a person with evil intentions, she will still choose to kill him with her own hands, so as not to bring crisis to her hometown of Paradise Island. But, forget it, no matter where you heard this name, it is just a small trouble for Her Majesty who is about to complete all the trials. However, as the price for your dishonesty, I must give you some unforgettable punishment. Thinking of this, the woman whose coldness gradually dissipated closed the stone door behind her with her hand, blocking the sound from inside. Then he put on a, big bad wolf, smile and walked towards K.O., as if he wanted to play some interesting games with this little guy before the queen returned. However, at the next moment, the smile on her face disappeared instantly, and turned into deep astonishment and fear. Because, the man she regarded as a, plaything, in front of her suddenly stood up the moment she approached, and directly broke all the chains on her body that were used to imprison the demon and the high-level celestial slave. How can this be? The woman looked at the scene in front of her in disbelief, as if her three views had been strongly impacted. You know, these seemingly common shackles and chains were specially made by Zeus and the gods of Olympus to suppress those rebellious people who did not obey their rule. Not only are they very strong, but they can also absorb the power in their bodies, make it impossible to break free. Many demigods and even lower gods of common cannot destroy it, and its magic can be imagined. Originally, she and the generals felt that it was strange that this man could break the barrier outside the island and come here, so they put on these chains for him so carefully, thinking that there is no second cure for him. But now, this young man who doesn't have the slightest breath of divine power seems to use the brute force of his own body to easily break the chains made by the gods. This situation is really beyond the scope of her understanding for thousands of years. You 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 you. Before she finished speaking, the woman felt a flash in front of her eyes, then lost control of her body, and was lifted into the air by a powerful force. Unfortunately, although I really want to play some games with you, but now I have more important things to do. K.O. held her throat with his hand and said in a low voice. So, tell me everything you know, otherwise, I will let you understand what real punishment is. Dream, the heroine's face was flushed red due to lack of oxygen, revealing a madness and cruelty, and she replied to K.O. with difficulty, don't even think about it, get out of my, half. The truth of the word. Haha, <laughs> really, K.O. grinned, the strength of his fingers increased slightly, 
and at the same time, those blue eyes began to turn into a strange red. I hope that when you beg for mercy later, you can still say these words so hard. Ah 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 ah. The scream of misery accompanied by the scorching red light resounded instantly, but because of the barrier of the stone gate, it could not be heard clearly. Instead, several guards outside the stone room showed meaningful smiles. Ten minutes later, K.O. put down the unconscious blonde woman, and sighed helplessly and amusedly. I didn't expect it to be really DC. I just don't know if this is the version I thought it was. It has to be said that this woman's mouth is indeed very hard, no matter how hard K.O. extracted a confession, she did not reveal much useful information. Definitely, this may also be because the entire Paradise Island has been isolated from the world for too long, and there is almost no communication with the outside world, resulting in a somewhat disconnected information. But what is certain at present is that this place is definitely not the normal 600th world. Because, the Wonder Woman here was really hacked too badly. After all, without reading the comics, can you imagine that Wonder Woman, who is deeply in love with Queen Hippolyta and mother-daughter in the movie, will one day confront her mother with a sword and kill her mother for the throne of Amazon Queen. Can you imagine that the unyielding and righteous Wonder Woman suddenly changed her style of painting and became a snake mentally ill with only war in her mind, even in pursuit of a stronger power? And to kneel and lick the Greek gods? Can you imagine? Forget it, don't think about it, Cassie can guess with his toes that there is something wrong with this world. It's a pity that when he was a reincarnation, he didn't pay much attention to these American comics worlds. The only artificial intelligence Luna who saved a large number of dungeon plots also temporarily lost contact due to time travel, which made it difficult for K.O. to judge. Which version of the 600th world is this place where I am? Definitely, there are not many worlds with such a peculiar style of painting, at least now K.O. has a faint guess in his heart. Ancient One Ancient one, you really gave me an extraordinary gift. Thinking of the bald woman who caused him to live here, a deep shadow appeared on K.O.'s face. As the saying goes, it is not too late for a gentleman to take revenge for ten years, and it is never too late for a villain to take revenge. K.O. does not consider himself a gentleman. If he were not in a different world now, he would probably go to Kamartaj as soon as possible and take everything there. All turned into nothingness. As for why he didn't go directly to Ancient One. Hey, it's not that he looked down on this old nun, but under the protection of without time loop, he hardwired Odin's full blow, and then used his body that was completely corroded by dark energy the soul body collides with the light of one's own heart. Under such continuous blows, even if Ancient One did not die suddenly on the spot, it is estimated that he would not survive for a few minutes. But even so, the anger in K.O.'s heart is still getting higher and higher, and the powerful biological force field moves at will, making the surrounding space seem to be screaming overwhelmed. It's just right, let's vent my anger here first, after all, my things are not so easy to hold. Looking at his slender left hand that was empty, K.O. sneered, and then strode towards the closed stone door ahead. Paradise Island, a magical secret place that does not exist on the Earth's territory. In the background of the main 600th world, this extraterrestrial wonderland was created by Zeus, the king of god of Olympus. The island is surrounded by a magic protective force field, making it impossible for human high-tech equipment to detect the island. Existence, thereby protecting the Amazons, the inhabitants of the island. Definitely, in this world where the style of painting has changed drastically, the function of this enchantment is just the opposite. It was established by Zeus to protect the human beings outside. Otherwise, this blue planet may have been destroyed thousands of years ago. Has been conquered by this group of powerful female lunatics. In this way, more than 3,000 years have passed, the crazy women on this archipelago hone their fighting ability day and night, so as to vent their excessive desire for destruction. The small population has plummeted again. Fortunately, the former queen's methods were superb and she had the ability to communicate with the main god, so she suppressed those rebellious clansmen without any risk. Until the appearance of the current queen, Diana Prince, put an end to the chaotic situation of separation and reunion in Paradise Island. Not only that, the strong rise of Diana also symbolizes the hope of the Amazons returning to the world. Because just after Queen Diana successfully usurped the throne by killing her mother, the gods of Olympus sent down miracles,
promising them that as long as Diana passed all the trials set up by the main god, she could gain power comparable to that of the gods. Moreover, as the spokesperson of the gods, she will return to human society and spread the beliefs of the gods thousands of years ago to the world. And they Amazons will also be led by the queen, become the representatives of the gods walking in the mortal world, and enjoy the supreme glory. Since then, every Amazon has longed for this day, hoping that their invincible queen can complete those trials as soon as possible, lead them out of this homeland but like a cage islands. However, what they didn't expect was that because of the appearance of an uninvited guest, their wishes had begun to move in another unpredictable direction. Wu, not long after K.O. walked out of the stone room, the low and loud trumpets began to howl constantly from all corners of Paradise Island. Yes, it was indeed howling. Because he's wrecking everywhere. As the saying goes, people with high skills are bold, although K.O.'s physical strength is now at a relatively low peak due to repeated contests with Thanos' Ancient One, and many methods cannot be used. But even in terms of physical fitness, on Earth, only his cheap brother who doesn't know if he exists can compete with one or two. That being the case, why should K.O. shrink back? Anyway, in such a semi-enclosed place, it will be a matter of time before he is discovered, so it is better not to do anything but go straight to the end. People block and kill, walls block and destroy walls. In this way, nearly two minutes passed, and this prison, which was specially used to hold powerful aliens thousands of years ago, was dismantled into ruins by Ka's bare hands. And until now, those Amazon female warriors who have been at ease on Paradise Island for a long time, arrived as late as the New York police. After looking at the ruined wall behind K.O. and the corpses of some sisters, many of these Amazon warriors cursed sharply. Definitely, there are also some people who seem to be indifferent, but they have already bowed their bows and set arrows in their hands, with a look of hunger and dissatisfaction, it seems that they can't help but shoot through this man they have never seen before with a sharp arrow in their hands. There is one thing to say, the Amazon family is indeed a miraculous group that is rich in beauties. Although there are occasional female men who are thicker than men, most of them are high-quality beauties with a healthy body and a beautiful face. They have a vivid angel face devil figure. It should be said that it is worthy of being a race created by Zeus, with fair skin, beautiful skin and long legs on average. However, K.O. did not underestimate these women because of their high looks. Although they are not worth mentioning in his own eyes, if they are placed in the human world of DC or Marvel, they are really an invincible team, army. Their speed is faster than a car, their skin is harder than a steel plate, and their strength is stronger than a cow. This is the innate ability of being a god-created race. Even the most common grassroots warriors, as long as they can survive to adulthood, they almost all start as Captain America. The best of them can even compete with the newly transformed Green Titan Break's wrist. However, no matter how brave and capable they are, when they face a Kryptonian who has been exposed to the sun, all resistance will only be reduced to a ridiculous and powerless struggle. The warm sunlight shines on K.O.'s body through the barrier that cannot be seen directly with the naked eye, making the Kryptonian cells in his body cheer release the Emperor's energy and nourish every inch of his flesh and bones. I don't know if it's a psychological effect, but K.O. always feels that the sunshine in this world seems more suitable for Kryptonians than the Marvel world, allowing the depleted energy in his body to fill up faster than usual, and even has a further improvement, the trend of. At the same time, the spiritual light that has initially begun to move towards the fourth level is not to be outdone, and it is also flickering in the spiritual world, as if reminding K.O. to restore it to its former glory as soon as possible. Unknowingly, K.O., who was already suspended in the sky, opened his eyes, and the blue eyes looked indifferently at the pink skull below, paused for a few seconds see through eyes are a good ability and then took a deep breath spit out slowly at them. The breath, which seems to be understated, has the power to change the sky. In the blink of an eye, in the terrified sight of these female men, it turned into a continuous tornado, rushing towards them. The hurricane destroyed the remaining ruins, and at the same time, the Amazon warrior was blown up like a paper doll, and the clothes of a dozen girls were even blown away. In the next moment, hundreds of white flowers' carcasses were entangled together, overlapped and blown into the distance, forming the most beautiful scenery in the sky. K.O. kept his eyes on the whole time, and used super thinking and supervision to look at it for about, half an hour, with a blank face, and finally touched his nose and looked at the tall figure behind him. 
seeing that the lives of the clansmen are in danger, but there is no intention to stop them, are you really their king? Useless things, living is a waste of food, not worth saving by me at all, but you, make me more interested. The tall and heroic woman looked at Ko who turned around, with a confident and domineering smile on her pretty face. This man will be conquered by me. A red cloak, a blue skirt, a gold and red breastplate and bracers, and a gold rope and long sword around his waist. Except for the absence of a shield, this image and attire are indeed DC's first female hero, Wonder Woman, Diana is without a doubt. It has to be said that although the attitude is a bit arrogant, the Wonder Woman in front of me, who looks like a, dominant female president, is more eye-catching than the original version. Whether it's temperament or body shape. Looking at the position below the other party's neck without any trace, and the pair of long backs that are enough to make the nerds lick their bones, K.O.'s mouth suddenly raised a subtle arc, interested. Are you confessing to me? Quote. You can understand it like this, the man in legendary. In the sky, Diana's figure is floating, with her hands on her waist and looking back and forth at K.O., she has a slender and well-proportioned but powerful body, those bright eyes are full of aggression. You, 053, are very strong, and you defeated my subordinates with just one move. Although I haven't seen a real man before, I think you should be the strongest one among them. And as the daughter of God King Zeus, all the best things in this world should belong to me. So, offer your loyalty to me, if you are willing to fight for me, I will give you the whole world in the future. Quote. Wow, is Zhang Shan hired? It's really a big deal. K.O. tilted his head and felt that this woman with a mouthful of Zhang Er was cute, so the smile in his eyes became more intense. Yes, as long as you surrender to me, I will rule the earth with you. Diana showed more generosity than men, saying that half the earth is half the earth. At the same time, another group of Amazon female warriors also rushed over. They didn't know that the tornado just now was, blown, by K.O. casually, so they didn't show any fear. Especially when the queen is here, they are even more unscrupulous, and some older female warriors even swallowed profusely. After all, they had been imprisoned on the island for too long, and hadn't tasted meat for thousands of years, so when they saw K.O., a man who looked extraordinary at first sight, these Amazon female warriors couldn't help but salivate. Definitely, they are just flirting in their hearts. After all, judging from the queen's current attitude, the other party will most likely become the king's man, and such a peerless beauty, even if she is as generous as the queen, she probably won't be willing to be with her. Let them share. How? Seeing that K.O. didn't respond, Diana was not in a hurry, and waited aggressively for K.O.'s response. Sorry, although the conditions you offered are very tempting, but I still have to refuse. K.O. spread his hands, and said in a rather helpless tone, I'm a little embarrassed to say it, but I am indeed a bit of a machismo. I prefer to take the initiative when it comes to matters between men and women, and you proposed marriage as soon as we met. It was a bit too sudden, I was not mentally prepared at all. Why don't you look at this, let's stay together for a while and see if it feels right, I might consider your proposal. Man, how dare you reject me? Listening to the scumbag quotes of, lose the kidneys first, then the heart, Queen Diana suddenly flew into a rage. Don't get me wrong, it's just because she is used to being domineering, and she has never been rejected by anyone since she was a child. Very well, I have decided, since you don't want to be my man, then cut off all your limbs and make them into toys for my subordinates to play with. Hearing the queen's declaration, the female men below cheered, and some even started gearing up, preparing to decide the order of priority by means of a contest. A girl who is too hot, but no man will like it. Listening to the following ways to do him, the corners of K.O.'s mouth and eyes twitched almost simultaneously. Stop talking nonsense, prepare to spend the rest of your life regretting the price of angering me. Diana's face was cold, and she stepped forward, her figure instantly turned into an afterimage, and her angry fist hit K.O.'s vital parts fiercely. Huge amounts of the muffled sound spread from the moment the fists touched, forming a white air wave that broke through the sound barrier, making the already extremely clear sky even clearer. A good attack, but the strength is a little lacking. In the center of the air wave, K.O. raised his hand to catch his fist, his breezy smile remained unchanged, and Diana's stiff face corresponded to it. This is impossible. An incredible emotion rose in Diana's heart, 
as if she didn't understand how this man caught her fist. You know, she is the daughter of Zeus, a natural demigod, and she already has ten times the power of the common Amazons before she is a teenager. In addition, after she surrendered to the gods headed by Hera, every time she completed a trial, she would receive a blessing from a god. So far, she has obtained the ability and ability of seven gods, one of which is the strength of Hercules Hercules. Diana, who has the strength of her elder brother, is confident that no one in this world can surpass her in strength, and this has also caused her already arrogant personality to inflate. However, the cruel reality slapped her hard today. As Ko's palm gradually exerted force, Diana felt a sharp pain in her right hand, her body was oppressed by a powerful force, and she couldn't help but fell to one knee and knelt in the air. I've said it all, I'm not a casual person, even if you kneel down and beg me, I won't agree to marry you. Ko smiled in a very flat tone, which made Diana, who was enduring the pain, even more angry. Where does this guy have such great strength? Could it be that he is the incarnation of a certain god? Thinking this way in her heart, Diana did not give up struggling. As the daughter of Zeus, she had a strong pride, and even the gods would not want her to bow her head easily. Base, giving up the idea of continuing to wrestle with Ko, Diana immediately pulled out the exquisite long sword at her waist, and slashed at Ko's arm with lightning speed. This sword is called the Vulcan Sword, and it was made by Diana's other brother, the Vulcan Hephaestus. It is said that this is a sharp sword that can cut from the subatomic level. The skin can be easily cut through. Even Ko was unwilling to be hit by this sword without preparation, so he let go of his hand and looked at Diana with a smile as if facing a big enemy. Keep a safe distance. However, does it really work? Boom. After the sonic boom that was more ear-piercing than before, Ko disappeared in place, and when he reappeared, he was in front of Diana who was full of astonishment. The slender palm covered the palm-sized face, and before she could react, she pressed it from the sky to the ground, and then rushed straight forward again at the speed of breaking through the sound barrier. Boom! After a brief silence, the hurricane raged, blowing dust and covering the sky, and the position where Ko pushed Diana was blasted into a large crater by the reaction force, and a deep and wide ravine lay ahead. Like a ray, it extends infinitely straight ahead. No need to be soft on hot weapons. I can read the previous chapter, and it is recommended to read it consecutively, the experience is excellent. Rumbling. On the edge of Paradise Island, Ko maintained a super high flight speed, and passed by at low altitude close to the ground. As for our overlord version of Wonder Woman, he pressed his face, his whole head was pressed on the ground, and he rushed all the way. The heat generated by the friction is an astonishing number. I don't know the beauty of this Justice League. Will it become the Mediterranean in the future? In all fairness, excluding the flaws in character, the Diana in front of me is better than her peers in the movies and comics. Even in terms of strength, I can't fault it. It belongs to Kai's favorite type, but no matter how beautiful this guy is, does it have anything to do with whether he likes her or not? What, you say pity the fragrance and cherish the jade? Hey, don't be ridiculous. As a former reincarnation who can survive a hundred copies of the world, this ridiculous vocabulary has long been thrown on the ground and corner of the table by him along with the dictionary. What's more, K.O. is now full of depression because of being exiled to another world by Ancient One, and just needs a strong and durable, sandbag, to release his emotions. But in front of him, this cold-blooded and ambitious Diana is a good choice. Thinking of this, K.O. couldn't help but intensify the force in K.O.'s hand at 24 degrees, and he didn't worry at all whether this female warrior with deity's bloodline would become a fool because of it. The violent sand was stirring, and a white line visible to the naked eye continued to extend around the edge of Paradise Island, almost forming a complete circle. Diana's face was covered by K.O.'s palm, her mouth and nose were covered, and she had difficulty breathing. Worst of all, Having lost the Vulcan sword which was knocked flying by Ko at the beginning, she tried her best to break free from the bondage, but because her strength was far inferior to Ko's, she failed many times. Even if she hit him countless times with her own fist, she couldn't shake him at all. On the contrary, the bones in her hand broke repeatedly due to the strong reaction force, and she was about to pass out from the pain. After sprinting around Paradise Island so many times, Ko suddenly stopped on the spot, grabbed Diana's head and lifted it in midair, then shook his arm, with an atomic level of precision. 
In an instant, she was so weak and limp. Immediately afterwards, the other free hand clenched tightly, and mercilessly hit Diana's abdomen. There was only a muffled sound, and the air exploded like a cannonball. In a trance, it seemed that a fist print came out from Diana's back, leaving clear marks on the ground. She was spitting out hot blood, and her bloodshot eyes were filled with infinite fear and anger, as if to say, even my father never beat me like this. Queen of the Amazons, daughter of the god King Zeus. She has a big name, but her strength is so-so. K.O. grabbed Diana's long hair and tilted her head back, revealing her long, white neck. At your level, you actually want me to submit to you without shame. Hey, let's go back to the furnace and rebuild it for 20,000 years before we talk about it. K.O. snorted coldly in disdain, as if he was looking at a jumping beam joker who was watching the sky from a well, and his eyes were full of contempt. V.R. Just as she was about to say something, Diana's eyes went dark again in pain. It turned out that it was K.O. who punched her again, and with blood flying, he waved her and threw her high into the air, and before she landed, she threw her whip leg sideways. Boom, 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 there were three loud noises in a row, and Diana shattered the rocks and trees on the road like a cannonball, and her body was like a stone floating in water, rising and falling continuously thousands of meters away. However, even so, K.O. did not give Diana a chance to breathe. Whenever her speed of flying backwards slowed down, she would appear behind her like a teleport and knock her into the air again. This cycle goes on and on without stopping. Refer to Chunin exam Shaoli Dagara. I don't know how long it has passed, but this period of beating sandbags with punches and kicks finally ushered in the end. With a tomahawk split, he hit Diana's soft stomach high in the air, knocked her down in the air, and smashed her body hard on the sand. Boom! A huge crater was instantly sunken in the solid ground, and the entire Paradise Island seemed to tremble violently, and waves tens of meters high were shaken at the edge, which did not fall for a long time. Cool. After punching a complete set of combined punches, K.O. couldn't help but let out a loud roar, as if he had vented most of the suffocation accumulated after waking up. As for the remaining half, it cannot be relieved by fighting alone. Obviously, he needs another more exciting exercise. Thinking in this way, K.O.'s eyes turned to the deep pit created by him and Diana together, and a flame gradually rose in the blue pupils. As the saying goes, one thing doesn't bother two masters, since Queen Diana has helped him in the first half, presumably the second half of the following shouldn't mind too. The figure slowly descended into this deep pit, and with a wave of his hand, the powerful biological force field swept all the smoke, dust and gravel inside to other places. At the moment, Diana, who was in a coma, no longer had the domineering appearance before. The black hair soaked in cold sweat was tightly attached to her frowning face, so matched with the amazing beauty that is rare in the world, at first glance at first glance, it was unexpectedly weak and pitiful like never before. However, K.O., who saw this scene, did not show any pity. On the contrary, there was a strange arc on the corner of his mouth. His eyes rolled slightly, and after a few seconds, K.O. smiled and walked slowly towards the, fainted, black-haired beauty. Ding! Just when K.O. bent down, trying to hug the beauty by the waist, Diana in the center of the pothole suddenly opened her eyes, crossed her hands and hit the bracelet forcefully, huge amounts of magic ability instantly filled every corner of the pothole. K.O., who was less than half a meter away from her, was naturally the first to bear the brunt. A large amount of magic energy was poured into his body, and he flew from the bottom of the pit. The slender body was knocked into the air by the magic energy, and fell heavily to the edge of the pothole, with his eyes closed tightly, wisps of green smoke emitted all over his body, as if he had been unconscious after being hit hard. Ahem, Diana struggled and turned over and coughed fiercely. Obviously, after being attacked before, she couldn't be so relaxed. Whether it's the painful micro-expression on the face, or the cold sweat on the forehead, it's all real. In fact, if she didn't have the super recovery ability bestowed by the goddess of agriculture Demeter, she would have been unconscious when K.O. beat her halfway before. Fortunately, being favored by the gods, her luck was not too bad, and she finally waited until the moment when the monster let go, and achieved a Jedi counterattack. However, it's not quite over yet. A gleam of light flashed in the bright black eyes, and when the pain on her body gradually dissipated, Diana flew out of the pit, 
took the noose around her waist, and walked carefully towards Ko, who was lying on the ground. HMPH, arrogant man, now, tell me all your secrets. After struggling with the rope in her hand, Diana said with a wicked face. As we all know, Wonder Woman is the most powerful female hero in the 600th world. Apart from the demigod lineage from Zeus and the blessings of the gods, the most important part of her strength is the various magic weapons. Among these artifacts with different abilities, the most classic and practical two are the Mantra Lasso and the Guardian Silver Bracelet. Among them, the Lasso of Mantra is also made by Hephaestus, the god of fire. Its raw material is the same as the silk thread used to weave the golden corset by Gia, the mother goddess of the earth. There is almost nothing that can it is destructive, and can be extended infinitely at will, and is often used as a weapon by Wonder Woman. In addition, the person trapped by this lasso will involuntarily tell the truth under the user's questions, even if it is a fatal weakness or an unspeakable secret, it can be called. Ahem, a powerful weapon for interrogating the enemy. The, Guardian Silver Bracelet, is even more unique. It is made of the remaining materials of Zeus Aegis Aegis, and has incredible defensive and destructive power. In countless parallel universes, whenever Wonder Woman encounters a strong enemy, she only needs to cross her hands in front of her chest to trigger the, defensive ultimate move, a Zeus-like defensive force field that protects Wonder Woman as immune to repeated pressure. And the powerful energy contained in it can often cause very serious damage to the enemy. Like now. After a battle of equal degree force suffering and enemy fighting, Diana flew out of the pothole unsteadily using her little physical strength left. Although she has the blood of the god king Zeus flowing in her body, she is born with great resistance to physical attacks, but Ko's power is too tyrannical, forcibly trampled her divine power under her feet. Even now, Diana's viscera are still torn apart, her pretty face is as pale as paper, and she can hardly stand upright. But when she saw Ko who was, comatose, on the ground, her eyes suddenly shone with a strong light. From the battle just now, Diana can already be sure that the strength of the man in front of her is definitely terrifying and powerful that she has never seen before. Even purely in terms of combat power, even the eleven main gods of Olympus she obeyed may not be able to compare with it. It was also because of this that Diana, who had lived for nearly three thousand years, suddenly had a crazy ambition in her heart. What is the world? ruling the domain of gods is my real dream. If I can truly control this man, then, maybe even the so-called Shendu may surrender at my feet. Thinking of this, Diana, who was already a little exhausted, suddenly stood up, forcibly pulled herself together, picked up the mantra lasso in her hand, and walked towards Ko step by step. Just put a mantra lasso around this man's neck, and he'll be able to reveal everything about the color of his underwear, let alone his weakness. And at that time, she will have the confidence to challenge the gods, instead of being so servile as she is now, using the power they give her to conquer the small world for them. As Diana thought about it, the excited expression on her face became more and more intense, as if she had never thought about why Ko, who was so powerful and invincible in her eyes, would be knocked down by her guardian silver ring. And immediately fell into a coma. A few seconds later, Diana bent down like Ko before, showing her graceful figure, and stretched out her hand to wrap the mantra lasso around Ko's neck as a collar. However, as if history was repeating itself, just when her hand was only an arm's length away from Kent, the unconscious Ko suddenly opened his eyes and showed a mischievous smile to Diana who was too late to stop her hand. The Amazon queen had no time to react, and a pair of powerful palms were already grasping her arms. Looking at the black-haired beauty with wide eyes, Ko jokingly said with a smile, should I say that you don't have a brain, or that you have mold on your brain? You are obviously playing the trick yourself, so why don't you verify it first? Quote. Definitely, so to speak, but K.O. is very clear why Wonder Woman is so easy to be fooled. Yes, this is also K.O.'s means. Don't forget, before he wandered into this world, he had gathered five infinite gems together, including the mind gem that can easily manipulate the spiritual will of others. Although the time was not too long, K.O. still used the characteristics of Gene Locks to master some spiritual skills. For example, a certain level of hypnotic ability and guidance ability can make the target do all kinds of stupid things under the guidance of his own spirit. Definitely, for some people with strong mental power, this trick has very limited effect, 
but the Wonder Woman who seems to have no brains in front of me obviously does not belong to this category of people. Coupled with the fact that K.O. had caused too much damage to her before, resulting in the double weakening of her physical strength and spirit, it was so easy to be recruited. You fool. Diana's face was angry, and the flame of anger made the IQ of the hypnotic ability capped again, and immediately activated the magic power on the mantra lasso, trying to follow the example of the energy explosion of the Guardian Silver Bracelet, and launched an attack on K.O. But unfortunately, this time K.O. was completely unaffected, and still looked at Diana who was struggling with malice. You were just pretending. The answer is correct, but unfortunately there is no prize. Diana gritted her teeth angrily, and a ruthless look suddenly flashed in her eyes, as if she had made a decision, she began to twist her wrist in a special way. But unfortunately, this move has long been expected by someone. K.O. stood up with a triumphant smile on his face, why do you think I wasted my time doing this scene? To be honest, I really want to see how strong you are when you explode with all your strength, but unfortunately, the current me is not in the mood to spend it with you for the time being. Hearing these changes, Diana suddenly had a bad feeling. Sure enough, at the next moment, this terrifying man started to grab his wrist, and slowly but firmly closed it to the middle. No, you can't do that, Diana was struggling to resist, like a little girl forced by bad guys, pitiful, weak and helpless. The silver bracelet is the iconic weapon of the Amazon family, but at the beginning this bracelet was not a good thing. Because this kind of bracelet was called, bracelet of obedience, in ancient times, it was a symbol of the Amazon group as a slave to the gods. It was not until the gods retired and the Amazons rose that the bracelet became their symbolic weapon. Wonder Woman's guardian bracelet works on the same principle. In other words, the strongest weapon on her body is also her greatest weakness. Once the guardian bracelet is closed by a man, it will become a shackle that binds Wonder Woman's strength, just like handcuffs, making her lose all ability and strength, and become no different from an ordinary person. That's right, only men can suppress Diana by closing the bracelet, not women. Definitely, since it is said to be bondage, there is naturally liberation. In some comic plots, if Wonder Woman takes the initiative to break the Guardian bracelet, the Amazon gene hidden in her body will be completely awakened, soaring her fighting power to a terrifying level. For Diana in that state, there is no one in Olympus who can fight except Zeus. Definitely, whether it is so strong is another matter, but it must be more difficult than it is now. K.O. is not in the mood to spend it with her now, and wants to compete with her in another battlefield. How dare you! Diana was furious, clenched her fists with both hands, and gnashed her teeth to resist the two forces converging towards the middle. She is the proud queen of the Amazons, the representative of the gods, how can she become a man's slave, absolutely not. Ha <laughs> ha, today will make you never dare to underestimate men again. K.O. smiled heartily. As he said that, he used his strong arms to push the continental plate to the middle with a terrifying force. Boom. After the bright rays of the sun, there is a lonely emptiness. Diana's bracelets turned into shackles, and they were tightly attracted together. All her divine power was sealed, and she no longer had the aura of a queen. She sat on the ground weakly like a defeated hen. This trouble is only due to the protagonist's bad taste. After all, he has vented most of his anger and doesn't want to hit people that much, so he wants to tease Wonder Woman. After all, there is still a small half of the fire that needs to be vented in other ways. That's it. Well, how does it feel to lose to a man? Looking at Diana, who was devastated and whose eyes gradually lost their brightness, K.O. picked up the mantra lasso that fell on the ground with a smile, and tied her into a rice dumpling slowly. It's funny to say, not only the guardian silver bracelet, but even the mantra lasso has a very strong reaction to Diana. Once tied by it, she will instantly lose the will to fight and be slaughtered. It can be seen from this that the gods of Olympus never believed in Diana from the very beginning, otherwise, they would not have left so many backhands in the equipment sent to her. In this way, feeling the increasingly firm bondage on her body, Diana finally realized the fact that she was defeated. This was the first time since she was born that she experienced the pain and horror of losing her divine power. Fragile body, weak arms, the current Diana, even the most basic and common Amazon warrior, can easily defeat her. Tisk, look at your expression now, if you don't know, you might think I have done something to you. 
Listening to the whispering words in her ears, Diana finally came back to her senses, and in a panic, she glared at K.O. pretending to be fierce and said. H.M.P.H. Stupid man, do you really think that being stronger means you are invincible? To tell you the truth, there are guys of your level almost everywhere in God's domain. Just two or three are enough to kill you. The place of burial. Diana spoke more and more vigorously, directly boasting about the gods of Olympus, and her combat power soared, as if even an old man who was watching the gate, could shoot side to fight. Oh, since these gods are really as powerful as you say, why do they come here to save a waste like you? K.O. laughed when he heard the words, and pointed out the, brilliance, in it mercilessly. After all, I am the daughter of God King Zeus, and I am only too young, and my ability has not been fully awakened, otherwise, you would not be able to defeat me so easily. Diana stood up two huge amounts of, car lights, and responded confidently. All right, all right, you have the final say. Rolling his eyes slightly, K.O. was too lazy to listen to this, little girl, who was over 3,000 years old talking nonsense here, ignored her fierce resistance, directly pinched the back of her fate's neck, and flew towards the core of Paradise Island. The core area of Paradise Island is not too far from the previous prison, overlooking it from a high altitude, it is really a woman's paradise. Looking around, they are all slender and beautiful, just looking at them is extremely excited. K.O. didn't hide his figure, and lifted Diana in a high-profile manner, C.E.F.H., to suspend in midair. After seeing this scene, these Amazon female warriors also showed incredible expressions and made noises like mountains and seas. There was no way, because they couldn't believe that Queen Diana, who was born invincible and loved by the gods, would appear in front of them in such a state of embarrassment one day, and it was a man who caused all this. For no reason, many old warriors who have survived from ancient times can't help recalling the fear that they were once dominated by those male gods. They began to tremble uncontrollably, and they didn't even dare to look up at the obviously belonging to the sky. Male figure. Your queen has been defeated by me. According to Amazon's rules, everyone on this island must obey my orders. K.O.'s voice was high-pitched and resonant, suppressing the noise below like a mighty god, echoing clearly in the ears of every female warrior. The air suddenly became quiet, falling into a strange silence. Ten seconds later, a brown-haired woman in her thirties and dressed more dignifiedly came out, looked at K.O. firmly, and said in a deep voice. What about our queen? What are you going to do with her? Although her character is a bit bad, no matter which parallel world she is in, Diana will always have some loyal subordinates. Even if they know that they are powerless to stop them, they still want to know how this man will deal with their queen. Astina, step back. Diana showed an anxious look on her face. Obviously, the relationship between this woman and her was very unusual, so she couldn't help but shout back. Now, I don't have your say. K.O. laughed softly, and then knocked him out with a hand knife. You, the brown-haired woman was furious when she saw it, and was about to pull out the long sword at her waist, but saw a flash of red light, and most of the equipment on her body instantly turned into ashes, leaving only a few small pieces of cloth to cover the shameful part. As I said, all of you must obey my orders, and there is no room for negotiation in this matter. The crimson light filled the eye sockets, and the texture like a spider web spread across his face like a demon from the abyss. At the same time, a powerful biological force field descended from the sky, pressing down on the shoulders of thousands of Amazon warriors like mountains, forcing them to bend down. One, two, three. Until nearly one-fifth of the people couldn't hold on and fell to their knees, these tenacious Amazon warriors finally gave up their unnecessary resistance and offered their knees to KO. Among them, the brown-haired woman was included. Very well, it's a good start. With both feet on the ground, K.O. looked at the countless kneeling figures in front of him with satisfaction, then picked up the unconscious Diana, and walked up to the brown-haired woman. Take me to your queen's bedroom. If her performance in the future satisfies me, I don't mind leaving a seat for her by my side. Comma. The woman sighed and closed her eyes, as if she had seen the future that was about to happen. Dot 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 dot. The water mist is curling up, steaming hot, two copper cranes with spread wings open their mouths, and the clear flowing water is like a long line, continuously pouring into the bathing pool of tens of square meters. K.O. stretched his arms, resting casually on the edge of the bath, 
with his eyes slightly closed, leaning against a pair of gentle hands enough to drown dead man, letting a pair of jade hands pinch and beat on his shoulders, and another tender hand in front of him held him. The champagne wet with water gently wiped his body for him. On the left and right sides of the bath, there are two young women dressed in, cool, clothes and with delicate and pretty faces sitting on the ground kneeling, their slender white hands holding a wooden tray with delicate wine cups on it, which has never been seen by the outside world, fresh fruit. These four women were the maids who were in charge of Diana's daily life and food in the past. From the appearance alone, they are all beauties selected in a million. They can be called Chunlanchuju, and each has its own success. When necessary, they can also become powerful guards to help Diana resist those enemies who want to attack her. However, at the moment, these four powerful and beautiful maids have been owned by K.O., and now they are gently washing the dust off K.O.'s body, allowing him to enjoy this very rare leisure time. It's been a long time since I felt like this. Picking up the warm pool water in his hands and spilling it lightly, K.O. couldn't help but let out a very comfortable sigh. As we all know, once the Kryptonians accept the baptism of yellow sunlight, they will be able to gain earth-shattering power. Except for the more buggy new Protoss, in the entire DC universe, it is difficult to find a few races that can match it in terms of ability. However, after obtaining this kind of power, not only will it bring them the capital to stand out from the crowd, but also many unknown troubles will appear. For example, bathing, an activity that relieves fatigue and comforts the body and mind, has long since lost any fun for Kryptonians with steel bodies. As mentioned in the comics, Superman himself said that the hot water in his bath is just a formality. After all, that is a powerful body that can swim in the core of the sun. Before the temperature reaches 6,000 degrees Celsius, there is no difference between cold water and hot water for them. But at the moment, without losing the power of Kryptonians, K.O. experienced the feeling of taking a hot bath for a long time. Obviously, the pool of water in front of you is by no means a common thing. Under the microscopic perception of the fourth level of gene lock, K.O. can clearly see a trace of gold mysterious substance in the pool water, which is trying to blend into his body through contact with his skin. Deliberately let go of the defense of the steel body, ingested a very small part of it, and after subtle sensing, found that these mysterious substances actually contain a huge breath of life, which has a very significant effect on healing injuries and prolonging life. Effect. This feeling is very similar to the Lazarus Pool of the Assassin Alliance in the DC Comics. Although it may not be able to bring people back to life, it has no side effects, and it can barely be regarded as a treasure of heaven and earth. If you have a chance, maybe you can bring Carla over for a dip. Thinking of this in his heart, K.O.'s body that was enjoying himself suddenly froze suddenly, and when he opened his eyes again, a faint shadow was already reflected in the blue pupils. Yes. He is no longer in the familiar Marvel world. Even Carla, who grew up with him and has never really been separated, is separated from him by an unknown amount of time and space. We must find a way to go back. Although Kryptonians are a specialty of the 600th world, for K.O., the small apartment on Marvel Earth is his real home, and he wants to return to that world no matter what. And to do this, he must first get back the two infinite gems that fell into this world with him. In fact, these two jewels were also one of the reasons why he suppressed Paradise Island so strongly before. But after some questioning, the Amazon female warriors who first discovered K.O.'s existence all said that when K.O. fell to Paradise Island, he was completely naked and there was nothing similar to gems. This is so embarrassing, K.O. didn't doubt their words, because these common female warriors couldn't lie under the induction of the light of the heart, but in this way the difficulty for him to find infinite gems will undoubtedly be greatly increased. After all, anyone who has read the setting knows that once infinite gems leaves the Marvel world, it is like six common stones. Apart from being indestructible, there is nothing special about it, and naturally it will not emit any special power fluctuations. The size of a planet is so large, and the difficulty of finding two featureless stones in it is not enough to describe even the difficulty of finding a needle in a haystack. It's difficult. Thinking of this, K.O. only felt a tightness in his chest, and even the young lady next to him who was massaging him felt that it didn't smell so good. When he was hot, it was also because his taste was too high. After all, when he was a reincarnation, he had never driven any brand of famous car, 
and a few super warrior level passer by vases could not whet his appetite. And just at this moment, Ko seemed to have noticed something, suddenly raised his eyebrows, waved his hand to make the four maids back down, and then pretended to take a nap for a while, leaning against the edge of the pool with his eyes closed. In this way, a few more minutes passed, and a faint fragrance suddenly wafted from the tip of the nose. Following that, there was a sound of footsteps with slight hesitation. Ko slowly opened his eyes, and without any surprise, he saw a half-hidden and fertile figure appearing in front of his eyes. There is no doubt that this figure is the original owner of this pool, Wonder Woman, Diana Prince. At this moment, Diana was still in handcuffs, with her hands folded in front of her body, but the suit of battle armor on her body had been replaced by a soft silk dress that made people feel bloody surging at the sight of her. The style of this silk garment is very simple, so simple that only two words can describe its characteristics. Thin, easy to take off. Sure enough, Diana didn't move at all the next moment, and the almost transparent cloth disappeared, and she herself entered the pool that belonged to her. Chong Yi is so long, I don't want to sleep, but I don't know why the heroine came to Shaosheng tonight. K.O. teased, and looked at the black-haired beauty with a face full of shame and anger but still walking towards him with a smile, a pair of blue eyes suddenly burst into an indescribable flame. I, I'm here to negotiate terms with you. Diana avoided K.O.'s sight with some anxiety. She knew exactly what that meant, because when she first saw K.O., she also thought of similar things in her heart. However, no matter how rich the theoretical knowledge is, Diana, who has never seen a real man, is just Yun Siji after all, so it is inevitable that she will be a little nervous about this kind of thing. Especially now that she has lost her previous formidable strength, she is almost indistinguishable from a common woman who knows some fighting skills, which also makes the tension even more intense. Conditions, what qualifications do you think you have to negotiate with me? K.O. propped his chin, pacing back and forth on Diana's beautiful body, but there was a sarcasm at the corner of his mouth. Wealth, artifact, status, or body. I'm sorry, I can take all these things away from you at any time as long as I want, including your proud god bloodline. Loyalty. Suddenly, Diana trembled and growled loudly. Loyalty, I am willing to dedicate everything to you, just like I did to the gods. No, it is more loyal than to them. Oh, then what do you want from me? K.O. narrowed his eyes and asked in a very indifferent tone. I, I just don't want to become as powerless as I am now. I want to be my former self. And, please let those guys on Paradise Island go. With their strength, I can't threaten you. Diana hesitated to express her request, her attitude was very humble, like a good queen who loved the people like a child. Oh, you are quite good at acting, do you think I will treat you differently if you pretend to be considerate of the people? Let me guess, it was given to you by the woman named Astina, right? Quote. K.O. ruthlessly exposed her poor acting skills, then pinched her chin in his stiff expression, and said softly. But because you didn't lie in the first half of the sentence, I will give you one last chance. Looking at the Amazon queen who has completely lost her confidence and arrogance, a playful smile gradually appeared on K.O.'s face. I can give you back my power, and even help you get rid of the control and oppression of those false gods, but as cost. The tone suddenly changed. Your body, soul, and even every drop of blood will belong to me from now on. Are you willing to agree to this deal? Your body, soul, and even every drop of blood will belong to me from now on. Will you agree to this deal? As these words fell, there seemed to be bursts of complicated and small whispers faintly ringing in Diana's ears. Opening his mouth, his originally stiff expression suddenly turned a little scared. Although she didn't quite understand what the verbal contract the other party referred to meant, there was a voice in the dark that constantly asked her to refuse. It seems that as long as she agrees, she will fall into an endless abyss, no matter how hard she struggles, there will be no possibility of climbing up. However, as soon as this thought of rejection arose, Diana felt a chilling chill across her face. Looking up, I only saw a pair of eyes that seemed to be full of smiles, but were actually cold and biting. The level of life far beyond the common people endowed Diana with a powerful and keen intuition. At this moment, she finally realized that from the moment she was defeated by K.O., she had no other choice. I, I accept, exhausting all the strength of, 120, 
To say this sentence, Diana's body suddenly went limp, and she fell into K.O.'s arms. Very good, the transaction is established. Holding the warm and fragrant nephrite in his arms, K.O. showed a satisfied smile on his face. There is no physical contact, and there is no need for documents as a medium. It is like a verbal agreement made at will, so hasty that the devil sighs for it. However, if there are still old friends from the Lord God space seeing this scene at this moment, they will definitely sneer at K.O., and then secretly curse, stinky and shameless. Obviously, the seemingly exaggerated, oral agreement, just now is definitely not as simple as it seems on the surface. In fact, there is an extremely complicated contract rule behind this sentence. It is a powerful reincarnation person who broke through the fifth level of gene lock many years ago. The powerful contract of fate law is researched, a contract mode that is only applicable to the reincarnation of the light of awakening mind. The specific content of this kind of contract does not need to be repeated here. In short, once the contractee accepts the contract, even if it is only verbal acceptance, the whole person will be like the enhanced version of, B. Tianxian, from body to soul, will start to change. Subtly and willingly obey the content of the contract, and there will never be any possibility of violation. Even if under the control of the spirit, the body involuntarily violates the contract, the contracted person will still be subjected to an extremely strong backlash, making the will instantly awake. It is precisely because of this exaggerated effect that this kind of contract was once all the rage in the main god space, and it became an excellent weapon used by countless ISPs to enslave plot characters. At the moment, K.O. used this almost forgotten method again, and its target was the black-haired beauty in front of him, Wonder Woman Diana. The palm of the hand lightly slid across the slender and white neck, all the way down in its slight trembling, and finally touched the tightly closed, silver bracelet. After the sound of, dang, the pair of silver bracelets that could only be opened by the person who closed them fell down, and in the next second, an extremely familiar force returned to Diana's body through the blood of the demigod. The joy of regaining what was lost spontaneously arose, but at the same time, a strange emotion that had never been seen before was slowly growing in her heart. That feeling is like a seed planted in spring, Sooner or later it will break out of the ground and grow into a towering tree. Now, it's time to deliver on your promise. The hoarse voice breathed into her ears with a scorching breath, causing Diana, who had never experienced it before, to blush intoxicatingly on her face. Obey, my, master. The breath-called hormone began to diffuse from this palace, and the strange smell that made people think about it made the maids in charge of nursing outside flushed as if the paradise island, which is like spring all the year round, has become like hot summer at this moment scorching hot. Unknowingly, a strong wind suddenly blows outside paradise island, pushing thick dark clouds, covering all the bright moon and stars in the night sky. There were bursts of thunder, the howling of the strong wind, and a few pops, and a few pea-sized raindrops fell and hit the walls of the palace. Not long after, the sound of falling rain rang out in one piece, accompanied by the sound of wind and thunder, covering up the movements that made people blush and heartbeat. It has to be said that, as the number one heroine in the 600th world, Diana is really a wonderful woman. Apart from her almost perfect figure and appearance, her bold and adventurous character is also a first-class wonderful person. While having an all-round in-depth communication with Diana in the pool, K.O. seemed to have entered the tunnel through time and space again in a trance. On the virgin land that people have reclaimed, they can use their means to their heart's content to turn it from green to rich and fertile, and the sense of accomplishment in it can only be described as wonderful. And if I had to summarize the complicated feelings above, it would be one word, cool. It's just that after you've had a good time, you have to consider the next question. Is this the enchantment of Paradise Island? Two days and three nights later, K.O., who looked very satisfied, came to the enchantment of heaven under the leadership of Diana's chief general, that is, the brown-haired woman named Astina. The enchantment of Paradise Island is not at the edge of the island, but covers tens of kilometers of sea area around it, covering Paradise Island like a transparent cover, which has never changed for thousands of years, covering tens of thousands of people on the island. The famous Amazon female warrior is completely isolated from the human world to prevent the tragedy thousands of years ago from happening again. And when it comes to this, we have to mention Zeus, the god king who created this enchantment. According to what Diana said when she played chess with him last night, 
In order to calm the chaotic world thousands of years ago, Zeus specially used soil and female undead on the battlefield to create a group of powerful female warriors, hoping that they can end the war, to bring the long-lost peace to mankind. Versions are different, some worlds are anti-decent and villains, so don't get entangled in the character design of Zeus in the Flashpoint world. Unfortunately, things backfired. The Amazon female warriors in this world are much more belligerent than those in the main world. After the war was quelled, they did not stop there. Instead, they continued to provoke wars to other parts of the world with their powerful strength, trying to become the master of the world. During this period, they even clashed with the sea people represented by Atlantis, which almost brought the world into a state of destruction. Fortunately, Zeus did not let this kind of thing happen in the end, and went directly to the scene, imprisoned these crazy women in Amazon on Paradise Island, and drew the ground as a prison, not allowing them to participate in the affairs of the world. Song Nang lived in this huge on the islands. As for why you didn't kill them all, I can only say that no matter if it is a good or evil version, Zeus is still the same Zeus, how could he kill this group of fierce young ladies? In this way, this boring day passed for hundreds of years, until after Diana was born, Zeus suddenly disappeared from the god realm one day, and no one knew where he went. Even before leaving, he also closed the passage between Olympus and the human world, so that the gods could not easily descend to the mortal world as before. That is to say, from then on, the entire Olympus domain began to fall apart, and then without Zeus's suppression, two major factions were formed, led by the Queen of Heaven Hera and the Sun God Apollo. For thousands of years, these two factions have often waged wars, trying to elect a new god king by force, but unfortunately, the strength gap between the two sides is not so great that they have not been able to tell the winner over the years. At the same time, with the passage of time, people's belief in them has gradually disappeared. When they realize this, human beings have begun to enter the industrial age. As they believe in gods, they definitely will not allow this kind of thing to happen, but the seal set by Zeus on the gods is too strong. Even if they can barely break through the seal and reach the human world, their strength will be greatly damaged. It will also form a situation of, the tiger falls in Pingyang and is bullied by the dog. Ever since, they remembered the Amazons who almost occupied the human world. Although Zeus also set up an enchantment for Paradise Island, it is nothing compared to the god realm. After hundreds of years of hard work, the barrier on the island has been worn to pieces by the gods, as long as Diana passes all the trials, she will have enough strength to break through it. At that time, use the backhand left on Diana to threaten her to accept a large amount of faith for the gods. And as long as they continue to develop according to this plan, one day they will be able to accumulate enough power from their beliefs, break through this seal, and come to the world again. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.